Welcome back. We are doing all signs, Aries, through Pisces. Keep in mind, if it is not your story, acknowledge and move on. If you do not want to listen to the question that I have for everybody, I'm looking for an answer about earbuds. But I also have a rant that I want to want to add to this that I just have to say something. Um, so if you, if you don't want to hear this and you don't know anything about earbuds, go to your own sign or cr crotch watch, whatever you want to do. Okay, so question with funny story is earbuds. Does anybody know if these little suckers, because they sell, got a new phone, the phones don't have the outlets for earbuds that connect anymore. Now it's a separate crap. And the size of my ear holes, God granted the universe with giving me small ear holes. Okay. So I lost one while I was meditating and, and you know, took a nappy, nappy treat. Is there such a thing as that are connected? I swear I need like reading glass earbuds. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to mention is on another channel, um, somebody was going off on the tarot reader about negativity. And it's like, uh, you know, we don't really have any control over what comes out. And sometimes it's just downloads and messages and it's not always what you want to hear. And I apologize for that. I know um, sometimes I get wisecracky in some of my... Um, because there should be a little bit of fun and everything. If you can't have a laugh a day, you may as well just kind of crawl right back into bed. Just kind of saying. Um, but if you uh, if you have suggestions or questions, uh, please feel free to put them in the comments down below. But the negative comments, I, us readers actually spend hours, okay, <laughs> doing this. Because we absolutely love to do this or we wouldn't be doing it. And it is time consuming and it does drain us and we do it because we like you guys because it's fun it's fun 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 and we like to have fun so i want to give a call out to a few channels um sagittarius soul if you guys aren't familiar with chloe go on over there and check her out she's a very good gifted reader um queen of swords tarot and aura west tarot aura as an a u r a okay aura west tarot go check them check out those people because they're you know very gifted and i like to share in the community not all tarot readers actually do you know encourage you to watch other people watch other people absolutely because if you're not picking up something from my reading or cross watching you might pick it up from somebody else so funny um, thing with the, with the earbuds that I have to mention, but I just want to thank you guys for being here and watching because we do appreciate it. Well, I should say we, it's not like I've got my dad here. We got dementia, we have autism, we have ADD, and then I'm just, you know, partially insane, but this is fun and we like to have fun and we have to make jokes out of life once in a while and not be so serious. Be here for fun. Tarot does not lead your life. It gives you just like a snap a snapshot of where you could be and makes you think, you know, thought provoking messages that hopefully resonate with you or give you a little bit of direction. That's basically how I look at tarot. Yes, it can give you an indication with major arcana of what is coming or, oh yeah, that's definitely how I'm feeling right now, but everything can be changed. You change your own destiny. It's called manifesting. Um, so, okay, enough about the rant, but I had to ask my 22 year old son <laughs> because the earbud went flying out of my zebra striped bedding. Okay. Black and white. And these are little black earbuds. And I'm like, oh my God, no. So I kind of shake the sheet and I hear it hit the, so it's on the floor, right? Hardwood floors. And I'm like, go find it. And he's like, get this one. You're going to love this one. 22 years old. It's like, yeah. He says, well, am I going to find anything disgusting down there? And I'm like, I don't know, pizza crumbs maybe? What are you talking about? But you know, mom. And I'm like, oh, for cripe's sake. When he was five years old, for a week I had to ask him, where's mommy's toy? That's all we're going to say. Where's mommy's toy? We had company coming and I was so embarrassed I could have died. And now at 22, he wants to know if I'm going to have anything disgusting under my bed. I'm like, well, you know, if you wouldn't have put something in a barn or Noah's Ark when you were five that we had to, you know, just search the entire house for. I could have just died. But still a funny story. Um, but those earbuds, if you guys know any maker, because I've been looking for connected, 
connected. Because at least if I don't lose one out of my ear, because if I smile, they go pating all over the place. So it's like there is no smiling allowed when I'm wearing earbuds. Let me know. All right, so I'm going to stop the rant. Um, when you're watching other videos, give, uh, give a thumbs up to them. We appreciate helping the al algorithm, you know, get us more views. It helps us to get out there and be seen. And we're doing this, some of us to make, you know, tons of money. Um, some people do, you know, Tyler's tarot. He's freaking awesome. I love watching him. There are some very, um, <laughs> he is funny too. And there's no filter, which I absolutely love because I don't really have much of a filter. I try to tone it down. Sometimes it's just a hair ball. Um, very talented people out there giving you fun videos, some serious moments and you know we like to do this so appreciate your readers um and i did comment on somebody else's video when i saw a derogatory comment and i very politically correctly did it um not to bash that person because it's like we understand that you get frustrated and we understand that it's like sometimes your energy is just slamming on a certain sign or the air signs are really getting this. It just happens. There's nothing we can do about it. It's like, okay, you've got a retrograde coming up again, and it just kind of freaking happens. So anyway, thank you for listening if you got this far. And uh, I'm going to stop here, and then we're going to timestamp for Aries. So thank you, and on we go. Aries, elemental quickie, source. Aries, overall energy first. General energy for Aries. Okay. All right, you got the Hermit and the Knight of Wands. Staying in, waiting for, wanting so much, this passionate beginning. The Hermit is kind of uh, possibly hanging out in the crypt here, going, hmm, when is my person coming? Being very thought-provoked, kind of taking an emotional vacation while you wait for somebody so you could be daydreaming about another fire sign. But this is wanting action. It's like, I'm waiting for somebody to come in and have interest that I'd have chemistry with. So it's just like ugh, a little bit of frustration there. You also could have your very set on a certain type or very set on a don't want to play boy. I want somebody that's serious. There can be somebody that you have your eye on that there's an age difference because there would definitely be an age difference there or just a terrorist. All right, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Two of Cups, nice start. Two of Cups, Nine of Swords. Let's get one more. All right, so this person's thinking about the two of you, and they want to come in kind of abruptly and have a discussion with you. Right now, it's just kind of more of a thought. So with the, the Six of Cups, it's like, you know, things were good. Don't you know that things were good between us? So they're reminiscing. What's the blockage? Justice reversed. All right. Reverse when we have okay. This person could have had jealousy issues. You could have had jealousy issues. There's a feeling of not getting what I want emotionally. Feeling this can be a lot of jealousy and things just not no, that's not fair and this isn't right. And how come you can do this but I can't do this? So this is a connection that's been they still have feelings for you. They still think about you with the Six of Cups here, and this is somebody that's got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. They have the idea that you're kind of slighting them, don't want to really talk to them, but they definitely want to kind of like get past this. Possibly coming in for an argument because the Knight of Swords is, you know, with, with action, because we're thinking, what are they doing? What are they thinking? They're thinking things aren't fair. They deserve a second chance. They'll take accountability, but they don't want to be emotionally let down and hurt. They can also be seeing you that way. So right now, I think they're just doing more thinking. Well, you've got a timeout too, but there are feelings there. And with justice reversed, it's that, that person going, I feel like you're punishing me. And I don't want to feel like I'm being punished. So there could be an apology in there as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have death. Death, which is also rebirth and a new beginning. Wheel of Fortune. Oh my. This person's like, woo. Things are going to fall as they're going to fall. This person's looking for a big change. They could have had the uh, an ending. Because we're saying people that you know. Okay, we're not going necessarily for singles today. So somebody that you know has come to the conclusion that it's time for a change, that they want things to go better. The Wheel of Fortune is like they need to turn that wheel and make things 
uh, more positive. They need to make things more mm, flow. They need to flow with things. It's like I want progress in my life. I need to I need to change things, and if that means I have to make a pivot and a turning point so that I can leave the bad shit in the past. That's the black edge. All right. They think that you're irrational and um, that you think that they're a waste of time. I'm not, I'm not playing this anymore. I'm not putting any work into it. I don't feel, you know, so it looks like you, they think, they think, are a little bit on the judgy side and feel that if they tried to talk to you that you would just kind of give them the big hand up or that you're ticked off and that you would lash out. So they might also feel like you kind of manipulated the situation. So right now, there's no talking here either. They're looking for a change, but, you know, are they, are they, are they, yeah, hey there? Are they thinking that you go, no, it's a no good. And it's like, it's, yeah, I'm not giving to this anymore. Or if feelings were forced. So they're just thinking about what direction they're going. I wouldn't say you're going to hear from that person for a while, but they are thinking, again, thinking about you. Your energy at the bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. I will crush your skull. This is a feeling of being abandoned and out in the cold and not knowing what's going on and emotional poverty. And that's your energy towards this person and having a hell of a time trying to walk away from this. So there is a period of possible ghosting or not communicating or somebody not returning messages that's frustrating. And your energy is all up in your head, afraid that this is going to be like the end of the end of the road. But you're not sure what to think. And you do feel like this person kind of just gave up. Yeah, I mean, there's feelings on your side too. You got the queen and the king of hearts both coming up. The, the queen of cups is very forgiving. So that might be that you're looking for that. Cut of the deck again. You get the five of cups reversed. There's things that need to be discussed as far as feelings. People were taking things wrong. It might be that uh, you feel like this person owes you an apology. And then things could try to work out and talk things out. But wanting that person's attention. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Ooh, there's a five of cups. Seven of swords. And the king of pentacles. One more for the seven. This person feels like the two of you could try to work things out with having, without having to get their ass chewed out so much. Because here, the seven of swords, I'll tell you... I'll tell you what you want to hear, but could could we just kind of move on? I, I want to have our long-term connection back here with the King of Pentacles. But this is somebody that needs to confess. They need to come clean. They are thinking about trying to work things out. This is a, hey, let's, you know, do a sit-down and have a powwow about this. So taking you out, showing you a good time. But the, the, the object of the meeting here is the meeting of the minds and telling it like it is. It's like I've realized how I really feel. You know, this person could have felt kind of like a coward. They were afraid to not live up to your expectations. But I do see some action with this person trying to get your attention. This is not like lovey-dovey. This person, um, you might feel like you put them up on a pedestal and that you gave them everything that they need to nurture it and they just walked away and, and didn't mm -mm, cut out of the deck. Everything has to change for this to be a new chapter. But it does look like you're going, you owe me. You owe me an apology. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No, oh, King of Wands, you sexy guy or girl. This person wants to take action. They uh, need, they want to learn something about you, and they're willing to. It's almost like they feel a little bit of competition here. They don't want the the head games and drama. Why do we have the page of coin? Four swords reversed. Okay, this person could have heard it through a friend who heard it through a friend who they're hearing things not necessarily behind your back, but it is almost like gossip. They're trying to find out what's going on. They could be talking to friends of yours. So if you hear about that, it's because they're trying to get information. So if you hear, well, yeah, I ran into so and so, and they certainly weren't shy, and they, you know, had real fun, and that's somebody that's very bold can be on the arrogant side, but they're outgoing and very sensual. Good lover, fun to be with. But this is somebody that is I want. Okay, let's get one more. Blockage. All right, 
two came out. So not over you, but they're still kind of given the vibe of a tyrant. The emperor reversed is not somebody, they, they just walk away. They don't take accountability for their actions. They don't want to be like 50-50 in a connection. They feel like they should be in charge of everything. They're not over you. I would say that this person is still going to come in and try to talk to you. Ten of Swords, when it is reversed, is somebody that doesn't feel like things are quite over. Possibly feel betrayed, wanting to find a way to pick up the pieces and try to overcome this. But they're coming at you wrong. Okay, they're really coming at you wrong. That Emperor, when reversed, is possibly verbally or physically abusive and they just I mean, it's like they need to learn their manners they need to learn how to talk to people and there's the drama I feel like this person's argumentative and if, if that's their way of trying to get back under your good graces I don't feel like it's that I think it's just that they need to have the last word so I don't know that you're going to hear from this person but they aren't done they definitely still have thoughts and with the emperor reversed Aries energy but it's <laughs> they're going thing up yours that's not the way this should be it's almost like they want to argue for this is not the way it is it's like i have to have the last word okay i have the last word and then you go word word last word back and forth it's not getting anywhere they need to change it up a little bit Let's see what we have for singles with no dingles source Ooh, if you guys could have seen the dance that one just did all right you got a manipulator here that is, it's only going to be, yeah, it's not going to be offering what you exactly want. There could be children involved. This person might already have somebody else that they're pissed off at. You got the Hierophant here. So it's like, should be, should be behaving, should be learning lessons. But what they're actually, actually doing is, you know, flirting. Frickin what's the blockage here? <sighs> they're not over their ex. Three of Swords reversed, not over it. They're still they're still needing to let go of some hurt from the past. And with the King of Swords reversed here, that person's not ready for anything besides a little bit of mushy gushy. Use your intuition is what I'm getting here. Because it's like this person knows that you want something stable, but they're acting like a child. They would act like a child. And with the King of Swords reversed, that's somebody that can be a real manipulator. No patience. Can be deceptive ignores you know what the need is that you have and they're really crappy at communicating anything or they got like resting bitch face and they just can't say anything nice and they know that this could definitely go somewhere they want you to have feelings but at the same time they're still stuck on the past and being kind of an asshole about it all right let's see what we have for majors so we have taurus yeah, be careful with that. Singles. Aries. A lot of cups in here, so water signs. Scorpio. Scorpio. And, I mean, it all starts with that. I want. Well, your energy is kind of like, I'm waiting. Look at the bottom of the deck. What do you guys have? Two swords. It's like something you aren't seeing is going to be coming your direction. And it looks like a new beginning, but you got to be open to it. Because this would be communication and a beginning, a breakthrough, things changing. And you can't cross your arms and think that things are going to change. you got to kind of let go of that fear of things going too fast. Because this would be waiting. Don't want, it's like you want to put, so you tie them up to the corral outside so that their horse can't, you know, do. they, they want a quick getaway. And you don't want that. All right, let's get one card from what the F is the problem source. You know it's bad for you, yet you continue. That's definitely somebody. Start acting like the boss ass bitch you are. All right, that's what we have for you, Aries. And on we go. Tauruses, overall energy first, source. Tauruses, energy. What do we, okay, popping, flying, flying. All right, you have the four of pentacles, and the, you wanted three coming out here, so guys, we'll give it to you. You feel like you're standing alone, somebody breadcrumbed you, so you're kind of holding your heart real close so that nobody hurts you. Kind of keeping it in, kind of uh, 
where you feel like things weren't even between you and another person, trying to let go possibly and just accept the loss that you had, but you feel like you're kind of holding back, pushing people away, going at it alone, feeling like somebody had ganged up on you possibly with the six of coins reverse is that I don't feel like things were even between the two of us. Why couldn't you have given more? Feel like it was not worth the time or things weren't reciprocated. There was a weak connection, not much of a foundation. All right. This is the pinup, pinup girls, pinup dolls on Etsy. Anybody interested? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right. Two more. And they are so cute. All right, so somebody wants to come in real fast and all over you with the Knight of Wands. It's like, come here, honey. Ten of coins. Okay, I mean, if this is somebody from your, your past, they want to come in and have some pleasure. So this could be a little bit of makeup sex, but the idea is let's start over and actually get somewhere this time. They want to be successful. So what was the blockage? All right. Possibly depression issues, possibly bad judgment calls. Let's see what we have for your energy at the bottom of the deck. You, I mean, you've got nice energy. You've got trying to, look at this, it's nice. The Star, the Nine of Cups, and, and the Knight of Pentacles. I'm hoping that we can get beyond this. So you're daydreaming about this person, wanting to be happy, wanting to be content. You might feel like they also, it's like wish granted. This would be wish granted. Can I rely on this person? Can you act like an adult? I need to know what to expect from you. And what else wanted to pop out was the Seven of Swords. And that's the feeling of, oh, snap. Oh, snappage. Where you feel like somebody was trying to get one past you. Or you could be avoiding confrontation with that person right now. But I do think that this, this is somebody that's definitely going to be coming at you. It could be happening a lot faster than you think. But they want to be, they're going to be persistent. They want to show you their cup of love, have a new beginning. And this is somebody that, yes, you could have had uh, an, a connection. We're not going for singles here. If that were for singles and there, there's depression and bad judgment, that's a not, not a good thing. And the bad judgment and bad decisions don't necessarily have to involve a third party of any sort. But it's still not coming at you right. Judgment, when it's reversed, can be somebody that just hides behind a mask and doesn't use the best judgment wanting to resuscitate the connection between the two of you but not really changing there's no apology it's like you need to get your shit together here person i mean the effort is definitely there but there's still a little bit of immature about the whole thing and you're kind of going uh no e -e. You're giving them the big hands up. I'm not dealing with your crap. If you can't be a big girl or a boy, this is not going to go down well. And then with that four of pentacles, no. That's being standoffish. That's just like I don't really want to deal with this right now. I'm not open to it. And that the seven of wands, again, feels like I've lost. I feel insecure. I feel like I'm, you know, up against everybody. And that's possibly also jealous issues. And therefore, it's like, don't challenge me, punk. All right. Gemini Libra Aquarius, the Hermit, oh, that's a sexy one, the Three of Swords, one more, okay, two cups, this person feels like the two of you belong together, but there's definitely a potential of a third party or one hell of a bad argument between the two of you, they feel like they have learned their lesson, they're taking a time out from people generally speaking, they actually are very hurt by whatever happened between the two of you. They could be numbing and they're doing some thinking, drinking, but there's definitely a breakup. One more for the three. And some bad blood. And then the nine of wands. So they're defensive. They're paranoid. They might feel like you're, you know, possibly finding something out. They don't want you to find out. Yes, it is possible. But they still want back under your good graces. They still have feelings for you. They feel like you still have feelings for them. This is like, I don't want to give up on, on this. I'm, I'm, you're pushing me away and you're trying to protect your heart. And I understand that. And I know there was hurt. One for blockage. Seven of coins. So we reverse that. And the seven of coins would be telling us that somebody was just tossing in the towel. And it's feeling more like you going, screw this. I'm moving on. I'm resentful. I don't care anymore. I'm not going to invest in this connection anymore. 
page of cups down at the bottom i still feel like they want to come in with a small apology and the five of wands reversed and that's a potential apology as well let's stop the games let's stop the drama ten of swords reversed not over you and i mean this is looking like it's happening now the tower boom down it comes and you go i need some direction well here it is depends on how you feel let's see one one for how you feel i'm not doing this we're going to end up with a five-hour video one of these days. You feel like this person did not see the big picture, that they had really nothing to offer. This is the type of person, it's like you ask them, is this going somewhere? And they go, oh. It also can be somebody that just made you always feel like things were always undecided. It's like, is, is this going to go somewhere or not? Not a good investment? Why are we doing this? You could feel rejected by this person. But I do think... With that two of cups being in there they're sharing the pain with you they are definitely in pain and they still see the two of you together but they know that you have put up a wall and you're guarded and they're a little on the paranoid side too and defensive oh that's you the defensive your energy let's see what we have here all right you feel kind of torn i don't really know what to do but it's there's no passion in the the chariot reversed it's somebody that's that that's like this person's a candy ass and you know what the hell they want they're kind of a coward. They've lost the focus on the connection. Two of Wands, you're not sure. It's like, I'm, st I'm at a crossroads right now. I need to think about this. Yes, there's still a smitten eye for this person. It's got nothing to do with that. But you feel like this person screws up. Or possibly they did put you in a third-party situation with the Three of Swords and the Lovers reversed and the Two of Wands. Yeah, that's definitely looking like somebody that had a roaming eye. In the very least... So that'd be breadcrumbing too. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I am restless. I want things to go better between the two of us. One more for the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, we got two. They're holding back, but they do want to come in and talk to you. They're going to start real simple. They're going to, you know, because it's like, oh, the passion is definitely there. But they know if they come at you too hardcore, you're just going to, like, shoot them down. So it's like, okay, I heard from a little birdie. They could be talking um, to your friends behind your back. What they're thinking about is the longevity that this connection has. And with the Four of Swords reversed, there's definitely been a period of abandonment feeling and no talking. Now they're getting restless. They want to turn, come back around, try to make things different, try to be able to leave some crap in the past. And with strength here, that it's just, ugh. Are you going to be able to hold bite your tongue a little bit and actually listen to this person because they do see you as a little bit stubborn so they're going to come at you very very gently because they feel there's a lot of tension between the two of you it's a blockage i said i wasn't doing clarifiers knight of swords reverse this person's not always honest they feel it they got a big chip on their shoulder Page of Swords reversed. I'm sorry, too many people up here. This can be somebody that uh, could have been a third party. Just going to stuff it in there because sadly it is there. But it's somebody that's closed-minded. They're always pissy. They're always resentful. They're always giving you half-truths, not completely honest. And then they, and they're out. They're, they're very quick to snap back. Very witty. But they always have an answer for everything. And it's not always necessarily the truth. Making promises that they don't keep. So yes, there could have been too many people here. This is somebody that wants to put the genuine stability back in this connection. You could run into them at a party, whatever. But this is the feeling of the soulmate and family. It's that in the now. Okay, yes, it can be the twin flame. It can be the soulmate, yeah. But I mean, there's a lot of frustration going on here. So I feel like they're holding back a little bit. Because they feel the tension and they want you to kind of chill out a little bit so that they don't get their ass reamed. That's kind of what that's feeling like. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Five of Swords. Ooh. Really? One more for that. Eight of Coin. King of Pendle Boy. Eight of Swords. So this person feels like they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. They're just sitting there stuck. I don't see a way out of this. They would like to argue for their limitations because they're going to be, no, I'm just going to, it's only going to be you and you'll know what to expect from me and I'm going to be reliable and I'm going to be the boss and in charge and you'll know what, you know, what I'm going to, where I'm going to be and you're, you're just, uh, 
You're you're letting go of it. Snip, snip, mother. Mm. You're trying to walk away, and at the same time, this person's arguing for another chapter. I want to try again. I'll put more work into it. I know we can still have this. Well, that depends on how you feel. You could feel like this, you've are <laughs> nothing's good enough for this person. It's a little too little, too late. You could feel played by this person. What's the actual blockage? The lovers. And the tower. All right, they're waiting for this, the dust to settle. Yes, they could have. I mean, you got soulmate energy, soulmate energy. But this is decisions that sh should be made. This is somebody that feels like a, you know, the, the, a bomb went off here. A big, big bomb. They are trying to push the tower back up and have things be the way they used to be. And they're going to be dedicated and they're going to put more work into anything. And I'll be what you want. But the, at the same time, they're eight of swords in for action. That's being like a uh, fear of being cut out, very stressed out. But they're, they're not doing anything. They're severely confused. And they feel like they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. But they're extremely argumentative and they take some really fucking low blow hits. But they don't want this to be over. Why? Is it because they need you? Just saying. Because the King of Pentacles is like, I will provide. You're going to provide more attention? What are you providing? Gonorrhea? Syphilis? Do we need a shot of penicillin? All right. Single source. No clarifiers today. Queen of Cups. I fancy you. Nine of Swords. It's making me a little on the nervous side. I priestess. This person sees you as a mystery, which makes you very sexy. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. So it does seem like you're playing hard to get. Just saying. You got the Queen of Wands here. It's like they make you feel really good about yourself. But, oh, you're kind of taunting and teasing a little bit. Hangman. I'm waiting. I'm waiting till the right time. So you're kind of being a... T they, they think you're kind of, you know, peel. I got to peel the onion open. I'm all excited. I can't wait to get my hands on this person. <laughs> but they're afraid... Of what they don't know yet with the high priestess here they could be like oh my god I, I don't know this person real well are they psycho are they nuts are they gonna do this and that they've got this fear of getting close to you but still wanting to get close to you and all up in their head their their gears are doing 90 miles an hour and you're kind of playing it cool yeah you know if it, if it happens it happens kind of like I'm I'm not in any hurry I'm not willing to commit just yet but I'll check you out but that does look like some fun, I gotta tell you. All right, let's go through the majors for you guys. So we have Pisces Cancer. Pisces Cancer heavily. Aren't these cute little pinup gals? Scorpio, Gemini. I love a new deck. Nothing better. A nice crisp noise. Leo. First Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Virgo, Leo, all right, so here you are, you're pushing people away, you're definitely pushing people away, it's like, I'm not going to stand for this, Just sitting there going, I'm not going to take this breadcrumbing anymore, all right, we're going to get one card, I'll take two, two cards, girl, don't fucking start, girl, don't start, Stop thinking negative and watch how shit changes. That's definitely key, but I'm feeling like it's more for your person. All right, on we go. Gemini's. Source. Overall energy for Gemini's. Okay, two more. All right. Okay, so you guys have almost the same energy as Taurus, but it's sticking up for yourself, feeling like you are battling things by yourself, having had enough, sick of the tension, trying to leave the past behind, the things that no longer serve you, but you're doing so in a very defensive way. You could have tossed the towel in and just completely give, given up on somebody that made you feel insecure. So, you're not letting your guard down. You're trying to have things go smoothly, but you're going at it alone. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of wands. Where are we going from here? So it's like I'm, you're anticipating, but you're kind of holding back, kind of thinking. It's like wanting to spring and do some action, but with the three of wands, it's like waiting, waiting for the right person, waiting for the apology, 
having the courage to be on your own and stick up for what you believe in. So that's, we like that. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source, Elemental Quickies, Aries, Leo, Sag. Hanged Man. Five of Swords reversed. Okay, there's been some major arguments between the two of you. This person is really, really wishing they wouldn't have said such shit. They feel like the, you know, the two of you are on completely different pages. They're sitting there and thinking, why the hang man? It's almost like they're resenting the fact that they, they fucking care about you. That's also somebody that might be seeing you. They're waiting for you to talk to them. But uh, they, and you have had some major shitty words. And this person was low, bitter, really going at it. They didn't put any work into this. What's the blockage? What's the blockage? Ten of Cups. Well, yes, we already know that one. Could have been secrets that came out. Things were an illusion. Wasn't the connection that you thought it was. But the Queen of Cups, this person's waiting for you to come towards them and offer that cup again. All right. One more to the three of coin. Yeah, that's what they want. They want you to come to them. We're not on the same page, but you can make this up. Why in the hell should you have to make it all better? And this person's there biting their tongue. Okay, this would be walking away and not being like, okay, I've, you let me have it. I let you have it and walking away. Here it's like, wait, I'm tugging on you. Come back here. Like you're being pulled in different directions. But this just seems like things came out. Secrets that ended this connection and went down the tubes real fast. And they're expecting you. Waiting, waiting. I'm not going to sacrifice and blah, 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 and come to you and ask for an apology. You're just going to give it to me. So I'm waiting. Now well, they can sit there and wait till hell freezes over. I don't think they're on thin ice. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The King of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. This person's going back and forth. They have, they have emotions towards you. You uh, might be hearing from them. But it's going to be in a childish, sexual, undertone, very confident way where they're they're curious on, do you still care about me? They're thinking about you, but the, the King of Cups doesn't just pour out and just spill, spew love. They just don't do it. It's like I weigh the risks and the pros and cons of the emotions that I have. They're going back and forth. This can be a connection that was on and off, but they definitely want a breakthrough or clarity. What's the blockage? Uh, okay, that's not good. All right. Is this is somebody that wanted to make a choice between two people. I'm sorry. It's so there. The chariot. We got two little duties down here. Almost a forced situation. Barreling towards somebody else with their hoo-ha. We don't like that. That's third-party influence. Doesn't mean that they actually did anything, but they're still going back and forth about possibly telling you the truth and coming clean. There needs to be a big discussion. The Two of Wands, when it's reversed next to the chariot, forced decision. Don't let this person try to tell you, oh, I didn't really mean to. I was just kind of going along with. No, you were out and about all by yourself with your stupid buddies and thinking that you were cocky and smart. And you screwed it up, up, up. But this is the potential of not giving you the attention that you deserve. And they're splitting their time between you and another person. One more for the ace. Yeah, would you forgive me? Can we move on? You're not over this person. Let's get another cut. But you don't necessarily trust them either. You get the page of swords reversed. It's like, you little shit. I'm not dealing with your deception. You piss me off. You definitely got some resentment going on here. You're not over this person. It's like they won't leave you alone and you can't heal. Six of Cubs, you're a headache. So you're holding back. I mean, you are straight up just going, I keep my heart close to me. I'm not opening up to anything and not impressed with their actions. So this is looking like you're going, I tried. 
Eight of Cups in their ass. Watch my ass wiggle as I walk on by. I don't feel like I got out of this connection what I deserve. This is not this is not going anywhere. It looks like you completely just said, screw this shit. Yeah, no games, no head games, no bullshit, no competition. You want to play around, go play around. I'll start over. Fa la 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 la. Me and my dog are going to jump off a cliff and float on clouds and have a new beginning. Screw you. But it, it does hurt. I don't think you're, I mean, they want to come in and this can be that they see that you are healing and starting completely over. They still want to have that conversation. Do you still have faith in me? Well, the answer would be no. A lot of pain, a lot of hurt. Yes, it could have been a third party. I hate having to say that. But, you know, straight up healing, telling it like it is, wishing for different things, wishing for different results. If you tried to get back together with that person, you would have the same results cut of the deck the devil because this person can't even help themselves really they could be very uh suave and they i mean there's definitely a toxicity between the two of you and mm, i think you've made up your mind you're not dealing with the damn devil anymore it's like devil you're cute go away you're smooth talking i'm addicted to you but it's no good all right cancer scorpio pisces Justice, back at the Hall of Justice. I'm prancing around and I'm thinking about coming your direction. I will, I will make things balanced between the two of us. I am looking for a resolution between the two of us. Here I come very slowly, <laughs> kind of tiptoeing. One more for the Three of Cups. Oh, they definitely want your attention. They feel... You, I mean, they're very attracted to you. This does not feel like a really long term. It can be because you could be in court with this person, but you're kind of going, I'm leaving this shit behind me. So they're still interested in trying to work things out with the blockage. And it looks like they might owe you an apology. Blockage is the devil. They need to drop something toxic because we reverse that. Eight of Swords. I'm feeling more like they got to let go of something else. And until they do, you just feel like this person is toxic and you don't want to deal with it. This person could be the type that blames other people for the problems. And it would be you seeing clearly that that's what they keep doing. They kind of release and free themselves and they're trying to check out other options. And now they want a you know, absolution and a solution between the two of you. And I'll take you out for drink or treats. Boy, you're looking good right now. But they move slow when it comes to connection, commitment. So are they going to come at you right? In their mind they are. But this is like, honey, I've changed my evil ways. I've dropped this or that. Are they going to follow through? That's what you're afraid of. Bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of Wands. I mean, that's somebody that comes in and out real quick. Get there. I initiate everything. A lot of chemistry. And then, phew. They're gone. Immaturity. See, uh, emotional ADD. Not putting any work into it. They see a shiny thing and they go, squirrel, they're done. They're all over the place. This is not somebody that's ready for commitment or long term. Or they're in a disunion. Also can be somebody that's going through a divorce before they can come your direction and give you the attention that you deserve and you're waiting. Not very patiently. So take it how it resonates. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Horn. Three of Wands. Okay. King of Swords. Six of Cups. One more for the King of Swords. Mm. This person is trying to change. You're going to be waiting a while. They're not ready right now. The King of Swords here is going emotionally cold. I'm blocking love. I don't want to deal with it. Very standoffish. Very intelligent, doing a lot of thinking. But they're thinking about all the negative things that happened. That ain't going to get you anywhere. They're trying to be more optimistic. One more for the Six of Cups. They got bad memories. They have no trust. This person does not trust you. They're finger pointing at you. What's the blockage? <sighs> did you tell them to fuck off? Who did you ever? <clears throat> Ace of Wands reversed. So there is no passion left here at all. Not at all. It's like you could have really told them to fuck off. You have lost that loving feeling. 
There is no hope of this happening. You feel like you're incompatible. That person could have used you just for sex. Just saying. Could also have sexual issues. But with the Eight of Wands reversed, it's like you're putting the brakes on this one. It's like, I'm sorry, but the barriers that are between the two of us, I completely have lost interest in your, you're a buzzkill person. They're no fun. You're sick of them being purely sex and sexual. It's like everything's fine uh, in the bed. There's good mojo there, but it's like, you're ignoring all emotions. They're not giving anything. So you'd be waiting again. Why the hell do you have to wait? It's They're p pointing fingers at you. They could be thinking that you were talking online with somebody and things went too far. Because this would be like, ah, oh, the passion of a new connection. And it's really happening fast. This is putting the brakes on it. Going, I think no. And that three of wands. Wait for my ships to come in. Is that why you're being such a brick? You're really pushing you away emotionally. It's almost like there's, and you feel it? Oh, you feel it. You pushed me away. I'm out of here. Singles. Ooh, that came out fast. Here's a new beginning. We like that. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. All right. Person's a little edgy about opening up. That's pretty normal for new dating. Oh, they're pretty fucking salty. Why so salty, sir? Okay, that, they're just not quite ready yet. It's going to be a timing thing. I do think that you are definitely interested in pursuing this person, trying to get their attention, but they're not 100% ready. Holding back, seriously hurt. They got to shake the fucking swords out of their body and move forward. They have to make a change or this will not be anything. How do they see you? Ready and willing. Ready to jump in, have some fun. Ooh, look at that. Stable. I mean, they see you as a serious offer. They're not, you know, they're not denying you that. But it's that person that I'm not stuck on the past. Yes, if you keep fucking talking about it, you are stuck on the past. They need to make a change. I mean, you got the Wheel of Fortune and the world. This would be like a beautiful beginning of the chapter. And what's in between it is what's holding it back. That's really sweet energy right there. Give me a chance. I'm stable. I'm ready to do this. And this is you seeing this person for who they truly are. This is not like busted in this case. This is like, I see who you are. I, I know you're hurt. I, I, can, I can see it. But and there can be an age difference here. It's like, I, I know you're still doing a lot of thinking. You meet this person at the wrong time because they're in an emotional timeout. They're kind of licking their wounds, sadly. But you're kind of like, come on. I'm interested. Let's go. And they're like, nyan, 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 nyan. they have to heal first. So you, I mean, if you can keep things a little bit platonic until they're ready, then I think that they would be a serious connection. If they can leave the past where it's supposed to be, like go of stuff, take the heavy baggage out of the boat and dump it in the moat, the boat moat. And this is that defensive energy. So you're, you're really sticking up for, firmly in what you believe in. But try and leave the baggage in the past. All right, let's go over the majors here. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Come here, card. Libra. La, 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 Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius, Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, heavily. All right, and then we're going to get two from what the fuck is the problem. Here we go. Face your fears and slay the dragons. That's what the person you are looking to date there if you're single. Either way, you are trying to push beyond your comfort zone to try to get people to respect your boundaries and I like that. A closed mouth doesn't get fed. Speak up. Oh, you definitely don't have any issue with that. I got to get one more. Stop being closed off. Oh, that's that four of pentacles right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, Jemmys, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Cancer. Let's dance. Up. All right. Your overall energy source. One more. Okay. All right. What are you afraid of? Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, you don't want to be breadcrumbed. You're afraid somebody is just like all oh, glitzy and good looking, but they might be coming in and out too fast. Somebody that you are very interested in. But there's this uh, 
confidence about them that, you know, are you trying to uh, get them to not be the player? You know, so you're almost uh, too intimidated by this person because you feel like they're out of, out, of, out of your league and they're not. It's like, I'm afraid I'm out of your league and things aren't. No, six of coins aren't balanced, aren't correct. You're afraid of being breadcrumbed. It's making you restless and nervous. So all up in your head, I think it's really all in your head that this person wouldn't accept you. And you're afraid of them having a roaming eye. Two of Wands reverse. It's like, I'm not going to make any plans with you because I feel like you're just going to bail. Hesitation. All right, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, Judgment. The Emperor, R -r -r -r. And the Eight of Swords. Okay, so something. this person is, <laughs> they're afraid of being cut out. They're all stressed out. They're really confused. They feel like they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. This is somebody that thinks that they're making the right choice, but there is no love here. They're being extremely stubborn because they, they do this and they do that, and you should come to them. That's not a loving card. Blockage. Ace of Wands, really... And the lies and bullshit. Lies and bullshit. Cake or death. Death for this one. They're full of shit. Holding back, trying to get one over on you with their dipstick. The emperor here, in this case, we want to kind of like uh, mm -mm, duct tape his mouth shut. He's got nothing to say. It's looking like you made a judgment call and this person knows that you're just not dealing with them anymore. But they they let it go. They Mm, not, no wonder you're afraid to give anybody else a, a, an opportunity because you're still stuck on this person that breadcrumbed your ass. The Ace of Wands is like, no love loss here. Uh-uh. It's like, th this had potential and you screwed it up. I don't see a future with you anymore. Don't feel like you're compatible with them. They they might have also been giving you the feeling like in the in the bedroom, just saying they could have been selfish in the bed. Just saying. Like, the, it was all about them. But that's lies and bullshits. Just things that you weren't expecting. You thought things were going okay. And they were avoiding confrontation. And the emperor can be really... It's my way or the highway. And they know that you've just dropped this. See what you have at the bottom of the deck. Oh, you're hurt. But third parties aren't your thing. It's like, I'm not coming to the party if it's a third party. Not having it. Definitely not. Trying to... Right here, it's just like you're trying to get on... The same page, possibly with somebody else, and trying. You need to flip this, and you know, give it one of those, and let the the knives come out of your back. You feel like you've been hurt. You're very disappointed, and you could have a little bit of a jealousy issue going on for what they put you through. A lot of disappointment at somebody that's oh so romantic and swoony, but they don't follow through. Ouch, painful. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The moon. I have a secret. Keep it to yourself then. All right. High Priestess reversed. We don't like that secret. One more for the High Priestess reversed. This person's avoiding confrontation because they made you an option. I mean, it doesn't get any more clear than that. I'm not telling you. I'm giving you the grand illusion that everything's fine. Page of Cups. I'm cute and flirty and, you know, I've got a positive message to give you they're acting all coy or they could be seeing you that way but they are holding a secret and it's looking more like hey you got the high process here reverse i'm not letting you know things i have a hidden agenda they're giving you just surface knowledge and they're concealing the fact that they're screwing around with somebody else clarify the blockage so we reverse that again third party interference they could have been out doing some drinking and that's when this happened. And there's that two of wands leading you on. They've got more than one lover. I need a lover who won't drive me crazy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of coins reversed. Oh boy. Oh no. Mm -mm. Now, this person could be trying to convince you. They're, they're seeing that you're not taking any shit from them. They might see you going, I'm not going to be used for finances. You're not going to be a coach surfer, you damn devil. But this is somebody that's got a, no, you know, possibly 
there's no confidence between the two of you. Again, with the feeling of a hidden agenda. Clarify the devil. Because that's toxicity. And this person could have a little bit of a drinking issue. It's always got to be their way. You got the nine of coins reversed. And then you got the, the nine of cups upright. Which, which granted, did you get what you wanted? And it turned out not to be exactly as shiny and pretty as you thought? This person wanted their freedom. They might not have been single, actually. And it also could have made you feel inadequate. But, ooh, here they come again. Oh, let's party, let's hang out. I don't even think you want to even look at them. It's like, I'm not, I'm not even going to talk to you about this shit. It's not even worth the time. Defensive energy, seven of wands reversed. I'm giving this stuff. I'm giving up. It was a waste of time. Loser. It made you feel insecure. Definitely made you feel insecure, and they know it. It's almost like they, they have this, I got cancer around my pinky because they don't think they can do any better than me. This person's got one hell of an attitude issue. And you're going, uh, I'm tired of this. One more for blockage. King of Coins, we reverse. So this is definitely somebody that you know, they could have been a gold digger and using you for financial comfort as in living together for a time period and they they knew that they had you right here. Well, not anymore. It's time to heal. It's time to let this go. They're not going to commit. They don't know how. They They just don't. They always hold back. They don't give you everything that you need. So they could be, you know, doing a lot of, uh, I'm thinking it's more sassy thoughts about you and wanting to get you in the damn bed. Oh, I'd love to have a piece of your ass, but you're not interested. Well, if you're not interested, you know, I got this other one over here, a hidden hoe. Hidden hoes. No more hidden hoes. Non-committal ass. Holy oh. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Seven of Cups reversed. Justice reversed. Here's another fuck up. Death reversed. I'm not over you, but I'm never going to change. Wow. I still don't like it is. That's a habitual liar. They could be really bitter. And uh, now they've made a choice. They've made a decision. I, I, yeah, you see clearly what you want now. I miss you. Six of Cups. We should be together again. How do, you, how do you see this person? Emotionally unavailable. And then you have the Eight of Wands. You're basically just saying, I'm, I'm done. I'm walking away. I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. Not dealing with it anymore. You're an attention hole. This person likes to get all the attention. It's like, come follow me. But then they lead you on. There's this putting the brakes on this situation where it could have been like really going fast really so the the passion would have been just like off the charts could have been somebody online a lot of messaging back and forth and all of a sudden it stopped happening why because they like getting attention from other people they walk away from situations so that they can get attention from this is a manipulator the master manipulator they're not going to do anything to change it's not happening Death reversed, not changing, not changing. Obsessive, compulsive liar. Ugh. Disappointed. The Queen of Cups has looked at somebody that would be very forgiving. But that's hurt. That's bull crap all out. All right, let's see what we have for singles. Source. All right, the magician came out sideways, so we're going to... Throw one on the floor. Temperance. I want to hang out with you. I'm not sure about this yet. In this case, it's kind of like I don't know if I'm making a move yet. I'm eh, I don't want to be misleading, but I don't want to be deceived. So this person's kind of like trying to get the nerve up to, to talk to you. But they are very interested. What do you have here with a cut? All right, you need to heal first, or this person needs to heal first. If this person's afraid of being manipulated, but they want an opportunity, they want to they wanna like hang out on Sunday, Netflix chill, be naked in bed, lots of sex, 
seeing how the chemistry is between the two of you have some fun and just kind of go with the flow and see how things go they're trying they are trying to move forward and not look back Let's see if you're in oh yeah you're you're interested in this i mean this is bright shiny new beginning and very clear the intentions are clear the communication is clear seeing how the two of you get along i mean it looks really nice it just feels like they're just still kind of licking their wounds they might not feel very good about themselves that's the person that's like they they kind of need to be reminded because they didn't hear for so long how they were fun to be around and confident and good looking and they the the person that they had been with stopped doing all of that disappointed hurt jealous bitter mm -hmm. so this is going to be a, a little bit of a edgy person i don't feel like they're doing any manipul manipulation i just feel like they're a little leery on taking the the initiative to kind of reach out because they're afraid of getting hurt but once they do looks nice okay and what's on the floor is the world so i mean it's a chapter a new beginning it's like all fresh and shiny new beginning singles it looks damn nice all right so we have sagittarius Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, the, the, the devil, Capricorn, poor Capricorns, they really get slammed with some cards, Aries, and I do not like the two of wands and the high priestess reverse coming in together with the moon, bullshit, lies, hidden, things are all up in your head, you're imagining, no you're not, you're not imagining, this is real shit people, but you're still all up in your head about it don't want to get hurt by this person that might bread from you that's your energy Pisces cancer very heavily Gemini all right we're getting two from the what the fuck is the problem deck all right remember who the fuck you are you're the crabby pates and you're letting it have power over you Ooh, don't do that either one more don't be stupid they're taken mm -hmm. who's taken so that's that high priestess feeling again. I have a hidden agenda. Don't like that. Somebody's not being straight up with you. All right, Krabby Petties, that's what we have for you. Now we go. Leos. All right, your overall energy source. That was quick. All right. Oh, well, we got three. We're going to take it. So you have the Fool. You have Justice and you have the Ten of Wands. Now, you can be trying to get a resolution with somebody that is that you've been with for a long time, but really feeling burdened by it. Can you really start from, from scratch? Can you give this person the second chance, third, fourth? It definitely looks like you have a very tight bond or felt like you had a tight bond with this person, but you got an ending and a big change and something that you did not want to happen. This can be forgiveness. This person needs to uh, be... Mm, take accountability for their their actions and you're trying to be smart about it it's like this person deserves the consequences they need to put in a lot of freaking work also can be that you're taking it hard i don't feel so much like this is a separation or the justice would have shown up reverse but you know that's taking accountability that's things that are right it's fairness it's trying to have a solution also having respect and possibly somebody getting their ass kicked by karma so you might just completely start over if this is that burdensome and you keep putting all the work into it tough call i mean you you want to start over with somebody because that's what what it's looking like that's giving the opportunity to start over and in the back of your head you're still thinking it's going to end up the same damn way at the end of the road all right aries leo sagittarius elemental quickies I fancy you. I want to have a connection with you. This person has feelings and they feel like it's reciprocated. And then you got the Eight of Coin. This is somebody that wants to turn over a new leaf and they want to put a lot of work into a connection with you. But they feel like you, uh, you're, you're just dropping them. And eh, boy. So you got a little manipulation here. This is the blockage. Two of Swords in, re in the Magician reversed. As somebody that didn't put any work in anything. I'm not sure what the hell I want. I'm all kinds of confused. Finally fucking make a decision, person. It's like, I'm just parting ways with you if you don't get your shit together. This is somebody that's like, oh, you need to start letting your guard down. 
yeah, you get this much room. Manipulation or not doing anything. Possibly feeling misled. Well, here they come. They're coming in. I'm going to give you the attention that you deserve. I'm going to put you up on a pedestal. I still have emotions for you. And I will put the work into it. It will be just you. Really? Because it could have been a third party before manipulator. Let's see what we have for you at the bottom. You don't trust it. It's like, please go the fuck away and lie your pants. Redemption. Reflection. Thinking about it. This is kind of avoiding confrontation with this person right now. Trust issues. And then going, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if I'm investing in this again. I got to think about this shit. It's kind of like a now what? So avoiding that conversation with that person and seeing them for who they truly are with the Seven of Cups reversed there. So I do feel like that person is going to try to renew everything with you, but you're going to make them wait for it. I mean, you got some resentment going on with this person. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ouch, I crush your skull. And then I sit there and watch you. No. Uh, Nah, they're holding back and screwing around with somebody else right now. This is somebody that abandoned you. They could have their own issues as far as abandonment, but right now, it's like they're spying on you. Why do they need to spy on you if they started up with somebody new and they're holding back? Everything's fucking peachy keen. What's the blockage? Three of swords. They can't keep their damn zipper up. This came out sideways. What do we got? So it puts you in this... I want to let go of this. I'm dropping it. I'm not even giving it any opportunity. Or I'm holding on to my heart because there's too much fucking pain here. I cannot forgive you, person. And try. I have suffered long enough. It's being apprehensive about giving this person the time of day. Probably still have feelings for them. But here they are. Holding back from giving any emotion. This is like um, possibly already was happening and they were out of the house. But it's an emotional poverty, and that now they're watching. Watching you, why? I would say jealousy. One more for that. One more for that page. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is definitely somebody that's just playing. We can play house, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not reliable. I'm in, I'm out, I'm all about. That's the fucking slinky. They can be very insecure and therefore very reckless, and they need to have their ego stroked a lot well they're doing that but they're keeping things small so they're holding back from this person that they're playing with possibly thinking that you are going to give them another opportunity i don't think that it's i mean they want forgiveness oh but leo might be starting with something else look at that <laughs> oh the ace of wands oh, look at how that wanted to fly open you're a fucking asshole you're full of shit. I'm sick of you having no emotions, but ooh, here comes Romeo. Donna Juana. That looks actually kind of nice. Changing, move, moving forward. But this person's holding back. I feel like they're watching you, checking your Facebook, trying to find information all about you, and they're bitter. But, you know, they're standoffish and they like to play around. Disappointing you. That It's almost like they're trying to do a jealousy trip on you. Guilt trip. Screw you, buddy. Screw you. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The world. Oh, the two of coins. And this is a little bit different in this deck. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this would be... I've made up my mind. I'm ready to commit. We're going to do this. So this is a person that had cold feet before. They don't anymore. This is the blockage. This is somebody that always made excuses. They were always stressed out about putting all the work into it. They always felt kind of bound and, and they needed to, both of you needed to release the tension, see other options to make this work, have more fucking balls, inflate your nads. All right, and then see the big picture. Does this move forward? Reversed, no. Oh, it's upright. And it also this King of Pentacles. I want to give you the sense of security that you deserve. Putting the work into it. I like that. That is the long-term possible partner. And this is, you know, learning my lessons and kind of going with this. And 
I'm making up my mind and I feel like we reflect each other's feelings and starting over. So can you forgive? Because that's what needs to be dropped is the crap from the past so that you can, they can, you know, they didn't see the big picture before, but they sure the hell do now. Lesson learned. I will commit. I get it now. Yeah, I mean, it's serious energy right there. All right, let's see what we have for singles. But, and it could have been that they needed to apologize to you. And you're still going to be on, you're on warning. I will write you up and you'll be out next time. All right. Single source. Oh, the star. This person's thinking about you. They're daydreaming about you. They look up to you. They're very interested in you. They want to screw your brains out. They want to go slow. You see them as sexy. One more for your thoughts. Fucking maybe. Woo now, meeting this person at a party or a gathering or groups of people through work, I want to see where this can go. Kind of like a now what? Oh, and you are fine, baby. The king of wands is like a real go-getter. And you see this person go coming in. Here they come. I think that they're a little bit on the quieter side or boring side. But boy, in the bedroom, did they let it flicker. Ooh, baby. Let it flicker. Big fast. Um, wishing. Wishing come trues. I like a use and you like a back. I mean, that's very nice energy for a connection. And this is a new connection with the seven of pentacles. It's like, oh, this could go somewhere. All right, I'll think about it. But you want to take it slow, not in any hurry. The goal is, of course, to have something stable. And I think that they would offer you seem a little bit more gung ho. They might see you as so tempting that it's hard not to, but they want to be able to rely on people. So, well, who doesn't? Seriously. All right. So we have Libra up there, Aries up there, Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. I crushed your skull. I know the hair font was in here somewhere, wasn't he? Oh, I swear he was. A Taurus energy. Where is it? There it is. Taurus energy. All right. We're going to get two cards from the what the fuck deck. You are powerful. No shit, Sherlock. Now use your Leo fucking bitch magic. All right, like that. And then somebody needs a dose of man the fuck up. All right, my Leos. That's what we have for your fine self. And now we go. Virgos, let's do it. Jumping in, Elemental Quickies. I would like source first. Virgos overall energy. Two more. One more. Okay, because that one wanted to come out anyway. We're taking it. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is looking like you need something, somebody that's going to be very patient with you. Can be a Leo, heavily, heavy Leo here. Two cards of Leo. It's time to release the past. You need somebody that's patient. It's like you're holding back from your opportunity. You're trying to be optimistic. You want an emotional tie with somebody, but you're still kind of still trying to get over something from the past. So... Can that be a reconciliation? Yes. I would be happy to try this again. But you're being influenced by what's going on in your head. All right, Aries Leo Sag. Wah, wah, wah. Oh boy. This person's an asshole. I feel they're like, okay, you judged my ass. Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, you caused the end of our connection because of probably a fucking third-party situation. Knight of Swords reversed is quite the asshole. Lies, conniving, comes in, comes out, they bail. You never know where the hell they are when you need... It's like, where'd you go? What the hell are you doing? Bitter. Distancing, they keep cold. This is somebody that there's no love, loving feeling. Snippy. One more for that night. That's just somebody that is not, not looking to play house. Clarify. Okay, and that's the blockage. 
Looks like you made a judgment call, all right. You got judgy. That's fine. You walked away, but it hurts like hell. This does not work for me. I have to leave this shit in the past. You keep the baggage. I don't want it. So they're like, well, you did this and you... No, no. You put somebody or something in between the two of us. I'm not looking at any illusions anymore. I see clearly. You mofo are confused. You feel like they probably t treated you like an option. I mean, that's pretty straight up. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hello, devil. You sexy one, you. This person... Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, they're restless. They want to come back and try to work things out. They don't want to be single anymore. What's the blockage before we get too crazy here? They didn't know who they wanted, therefore was breadcrumbing you. So you have this person that's like, I'm going to talk you into taking a new opportunity from me because I'm restless. This person could have lied about being single, just putting it out there. Also could be somebody that's very needy and clingy and always selfish. Breadcrumbing you, but having more than one option. Mm-hmm. They need to make a choice. But I'm giving you my coin, so you know what to expect. Ugh. How do you see them? Oh my, look at the bottom of the deck. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Ah, uh, you're busted. You're busted, buddy. So it's like everything came out in the wash. It's underneath of that. Temperance reversed. This person can be downright into drugs and drinking and anything that is not good for them and have one hell of a temper. Where they just, ooh, and argumentative, petty, run. Run, Virgos. Be a virgin. Let the hymen grow back. This is crap. There's... Th I don't give a shit how restless they are. I don't. No. Stay the fuck away. Stay the fuck away from me. It's like I don't want to deal with this anymore. They're, they're not in any hurry to settle down. They enjoy their own fucking company more than they enjoy anybody else's. Romantically, they're just not available. And this could have been somebody that was using you financially because they're goddamn selfish. Put the devil right there so you can see it as a reminder. Very similar energy. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. person's having a hard time trying to figure out how to get back to your heart they they feel like you have been judge jury and have decided that it was time to cut them out one more for the two and that you started over this person still has feelings for you but your energy you're afraid of this person not putting any work into it and then you got the Queen of Swords. It's like, eh, no. This is somebody It's like, I have to cut you out. You're full of shit. So they might think that you have been vindictive, but you're sitting here going, I'm afraid of giving you the opportunity to see where this can go. Because this seems like a cycle. Like they come in, they come out. They come in, they come out. You've been. This has been going on too long. They have feelings for you. Well, that's great, but things have got to change. <sighs> Yeah. Two of swords reverse. I drop it. I give up. I've made a decision. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm parting ways with you. I'm choosing something else in my life. Feelings feel way too unstable. Trying to let go of things and move on. And they're taking it. Oh, they're taking it so hard. Eh. Tough tits, I say. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, let's take a pause. Let's just take a break. All right. Mm. Well, if they're on a break from you, who are they talking to? That's a blockage. They're sneaking around behind your back. It's just giving me dyslexic tongue here. Page of Swords reversed. I'm a stalker. I always have to watch my back. I have to make sure that you don't know what the hell... Um, I'm doing, I'm always going to keep you hanging. I'm not willing to commit. And guess what? We're not talking. So I'm uh, moving forward with somebody else, giving them my emotion choices. Boom. No, I'm not tolerating this anymore. Clarify that page. 
So, ah, full of shit. They think they think that they're getting away with shit. I got I got one up on. The, they're cutting their hands with their sharp verbiage and their lies and bullshit. They're making it worse on themselves because it's like we're not talking. You're not hiding this. It's like boom, real quick. I'm out of here. I'm starting something new, and you don't buy it. Just like, no, I know what you did last summer. I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. Do they reach out? They're afraid to. Oh, they should be afraid to. But they do have some potential of trying to bounce back into your life. But it'd be in an immature way. It'd be just like a little flirty. Hey, how you doing? Oh, what? Didn't work out with Wonder Woman? Didn't, didn't go so well with Captain Crotch Fest? Seriously. All right. Where are we? I think we're on Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I get so carried away sometimes. Okay. Ten of Swords. I want to come back. I, you know, I gave you abandonment issues, but fa la 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 la. Let's start over. Can you forgive me? Oh, yeah. Can you forgive me? The blockage is you're saying no. You're standing up for what you believe in. You're taking the higher ground. You're kind of pushing this person away. You're not giving them the time of day right now. You got a big trust issue. You're fighting them off. You feel like you're doing it all by yourself. You feel like you're being attacked, not dealing with it. Insecurities. One more for that seven for blockage. Lovers and therefore reverse. Bad choices. Bad, bad, bad. Boom, down it came. This is somebody that left, ghosted, not playing the house anymore to start over, and now they regret it. How do you see them? <laughs> nope. That's a nope fest. Nope, nope, nope. And here, you chose. You made you made a choice. You went the wrong fucking way, bonehead. And the Queen of Cups is like, I loved you, but I'm also incredibly psychic. And I know what you're up to. I know the games that you play. So, I mean, this this head of, oh, here's the mistress. And then here's the, I'm not doing this. And no, we can't trust you. We can't rely on you. This is somebody that could overindulge in drinking. They can be very volatile. But it's just like the two of you never could balance out. It gives you the feeling of frustration and I'm not an option and you're not tolerating anything. So if this is this person having ghosted you, you might still hear from them, but they thought they were starting over. But I'm fucking done with Virgo. No, you're not. You're a liar. Liar. All right. Singles with no dingles. All right, this person's not ready. They have other options. They're confused. They don't know what they want. You'd be waiting for this person. Is it worth the wait? No, it's not. Don't bother. This person's got an inferiority issue. They don't feel good enough about themselves. They have a lot of doubt. They don't know what they want. They don't know what to do. They feel like everything's up in the air again, and they're not ready to... Put the work into one connection. They're confused as hell. And yes, they can be conceited in an intention home, but I'm feeling more like this person is doubting you'd even be interested. They've got a real inferiority issue going on here. They're not ready. They're not, they're just not ready. I don't feel good enough. Oh, woe is me. Okay, they're a little bit too much woe is me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, you're daydreaming about my Virgos, but you're just afraid to, to try. Wimp. Wimp. They're afraid of you. Why are they afraid of you? All right, so we have Heavy Leo. Sagittarius. Gemini. Aries. Pisces. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Capricorn. Ooh, that music might get loud. They might, YouTube might yell at me. It's like it's instrumental. There's no patent on it. All right, and then you judgment here. You know, I feel like you guys are really making the best call for yourself. I like it. All right, two from the what the foo, what the foo foo. Okay, here we go. 
You're acting like a little bitch right now. Well, somebody's acting like a little bitch. Baby, you let yourself get hurt. Ooh, I think that's aimed at you. One more. Don't let it consume you. That's very true. With that strength card there. Time to let go of some of that tension. Holding back doesn't get you anywhere. Just saying. You really got slammed here from source. Don't be a little bitch right now. Let yourself get hurt. I don't know about that one. You know, it's like sometimes when we see the icing on the cake and then we fall in love before we see what the cake actually looks like and it's a dry piece of shit marble that, you know, has no confetti in it and it was supposed to. And yes, it does always consume us because we put a lot of work into that connection just to get disappointed. Ah, oh, sorry, Virgos. All right, on we go. Libras. All right, let's get your overall energy first. Source my Libra's energy today. King of Swords. That's definitely you. I shall not tolerate any bullshit. You're being quite serious. All right, that's having interest in somebody. Wanting to play house with somebody, maybe. A serious offer. Very serious offer. But is there more than one person here? You got a lot of people cards up there. We will wait and see what comes up. But the King of Swords is somebody that is very intelligent but emotionally a little bit on the cold side the queen of pentacles is that uh down to earth takes care of things writes the bills out house wife house mouse type person likes to stay in takes care of kids you know very very reliable and then you got the emperor well that's not a lot of love here these two very very reliable but the emperor is kind of like it's my way or the highway and that can be an Aries coming your direction, but you, you got some serious energy going on here. It's like, I shall not tolerate anything. You shall be loyal to me, and that is the way it goes. It's like you're setting up the rules. It's like, this is the way things go. All right, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, Elemental Quickies. All right. Five of Cups, the Tower Reversed. All right, one more. Boy, they got some regrets here. Eight of coins. They're still thinking about you. That's all they're really actually thinking about is what happened between the two of you. What's the blockage? The devil. That can be overindulging in anything and needing to. Well, we don't like that. They went, they made a bad choice. They made a bad choice. One more. Could have been somebody very arrogant. Could have been stringing you along. And the Queen of Wands reversed. Did they give you the feeling that you weren't good enough? This person also could have been thinking that you were a shallow hell. Very, you know, inappropriate. You were just a, a piece of uh, pie for the time being. Devil reversed. I'm dropping my toxic ways. I'm trying to, you know, oh, did you fall off the wagon? And now you're trying to behave again. Well, you know, first I'm going one direction, then I'm going another direction. But, you know, do you really deserve all this attention? This person might be thinking of you as an attention hole. Mmm. You're so vain. You probably think this song is about you. Unhappy. Did you lose interest? Well, that would have given them no choice anymore. They are regretting what happened between the two of you. It's all they're thinking about. How do you see them? I'm nosy. That's how we get three-hour videos. You see them always pushing forward, just, ch you know, chatting it up, hanging out with other people. Uh, this is somebody that, in your mind, they constantly need their ego stroked by more than one person. They're always taking chances. It's like they don't look before they leap. Eight of Wands talking to people online. They're constantly, constantly playing around. Oh, that lover looks nice. Oh, I think I'll take that one too. They don't want the tower to come down, but what are they doing to prevent it? Nothing. One more for action. Because, I mean, the thinking's there, but are they going to take accountability? Possibly. But do you really want to fall for that shit again? Let's get a cut. You're iffy. Seven of coin. I don't know. Because you've got a big, now what? So you're going to have to think about it. That's the Hermit Virgo energy. Seven of Pentacles is like, okay, this might pay off, but I haven't seen it yet. 
Well, if they're coming at you with an apology, which that can be, are you going to accept it? This person seems like they have an MO. They don't feel good enough. They don't, look at that, cut of the deck. They don't want to commit. They aren't ready for it. Somebody that chooses to be by themselves because they don't want to be taken in case another piece of pie comes around. Well, that's bullshit. Somebody that's holding back. They might think that you're holding back sexually, just saying. But they're blocking communication right now. Do I think you'll hear from them? Yes, you got your own card here for your energy. But if you're seeing them as constantly needing their ego stroked and paying attention to other people and always pushing on with more than one arrow, you know, from Cupid into different people's hearts, and it's because they, they don't feel good enough. They've got a complex about, am I good enough? Well, look in the mirror. Obviously, you can't be that damn bad if Libra's hanging out with you, but they seem to just... And you are trying to start over. Where you had your down period, think, you know, that poor me and didn't see any offers available. Now you flipped that card. You got the Four of Cups. It's like, I'm ready to start moving forward. And that's when this asshole is going to come back. <laughs> Four of Swords reversed. I'm coming back. I'm restless and I want you. Do you? Really? Because I need something good in my life for once. Kiss my tushy tush. It says something that you've really, it's been going on too long. It's like enough of this burden. All right, this is the pinup girl deck. Isn't, isn't they pretty? They are pretty. Yes. Before, before Playboy came out, I guess, right? All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Four of coin. Knight of Swords reversed. One more for temperance. Uh, if this person's holding back from you, what are they doing? If you are not talking to this person, what are they doing? I'll tell you what they're doing. Playing around with somebody else. This seems like somebody that you have emotions towards, but they're hurting you. And you're not changing anything. They're not changing anything. Temperance. Well, you know, that's back and forth. Can we get along? And oop, I'm going to, you know, it's a very sexually interested, but I'm holding back when it comes to any commitment. And then you got the Nine of Swords. They're lying through their fucking teeth. They're trying to snowball you, give you the, the idea that you are to blame. This is somebody that gets very snippy with their verbiage. They're like angry because they're the ones that's twisting the truths. One more for Black Edge. Five of Wands. That's competitive crap. And it looks like you're trying to sidestep the drama. Two of Coins. Are you juggled? Yes. Are you being juggled? Yeah. Two of Pentacles. I go between you and this other person. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Nobody wants to be juggled. No. It also can be this person telling you that they don't have enough time and they're full of shit. Because they're out with other competition. But there, again, when it's reversed, it's like, I'm sidestepping the drama. I'm not really picking you or the other person. It's like they're keeping two people hanging. You don't want that. You're like, it's one. Two people, one connection. Not into polygamy. But you do have feelings for this person. So this is a really hard one to swallow. Because this, this is, I'm not opening up. I'm not giving in. I don't, I don't want, they're protecting themselves. They're just, they also could be possessive too of you, even though they like to have more than one person around. That would be like uh, uh, accusations being tossed at you when they're the one that won't commit even just to the label of girlfriend or boyfriend. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. One more for the four of pentacles over here. No, they're not over you. Yes, you will hear from them again. The world reverse. They don't feel like there's closure here yet. So I do feel like you are going to hear from them. But I don't think they're going to like what you have to tell them. Because the way the conversation is going to go, I just feel like you're going to be like, uh, I'm over this. I'm done with it. I, you know, you hurt me bad and I'm trying to move on. I'm having my own little breakthrough. I'm picking up my pieces. I'm healing. 
All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Seven of Cups reversed, all right. Queen of Swords reversed. Strength. Uh, why the star? This person is all up in their head. They think about you. They're attracted to you. They wish things could be different. But the Seven of Cups, there's too much confusion. You could have seen them for who they truly are. And this person now thinks you're a bitch. Because you hold back. Oh, well, you didn't really, you know, you wanted your freedom. You wanted your cake and eat it. What's the blockage? Clarify the blockage. Death. Cake or death. This person doesn't want to be reliable. They cause endings everywhere they go. They may as well be like little flicking little towers all over people. I bless you in the name of tower. Tower for you. Tower for you. Page of Pentacles reversed. I am not reliable. I'm really not looking to uh, playhouse. I'm hesitating. I, I don't know what I want. You know what? I'm kind of fucking lazy. Don't, I'm not going to put any work into this. And yeah, I know it's going to end. But eh, you know, not willing to change. Knowing that it's inevitable. If they want their freedom, why in the hell would you want to stick around? They also could be seeing that you're sing, er, single and trying to heal from them. Nothing is up. It's like they know they've been busted. They know that you're bitter. They know that they should hold back. Leave you the fuck alone with that energy up there. <laughs> now, the Queen of Swords can be one hell of a wench. But the King of Swords can definitely handle her. Just saying. Male or female, doesn't matter. You've got this person restless as hell. And that's the potential of wanting to come back around and try to fix things. But I don't think you're digging it. No, it's been too much, too much, too much. A burden. That's the one that's holding all of the wood and keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And, you know, it just feels like you put so much work into it. And where the hell did it get you? All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Five of, oh shit. Five of, fuck off. And four of, I want to talk again. And you can rely on me. They're taking their sweet ass time. What do they want? Well, we could try this again. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you doing me a fucking favor? Seriously. What's trying to come out? The blockage. Look at that. These two wanted to come out. So let's talk about those two. Here's you going. I know the truth. I know the truth. I know what you did last summer, and I'm not dealing with it. Two of Cups. You broke off our connection by sticking your damn Twinkie in a ding dong. And the Three of Swords is just like, I'm trying to heal. I don't want to have feelings for you. I don't want to have feelings for you. I don't care if I have feelings for you. I have to do what's best for me. Well, you better do what's best for you because this person's not changing. They're taking their sweet ass time and they're not guaranteeing anything. They'll fight about it. Well, that could have been what got you in this position in the first place. Somebody that feels sorry for themselves. Fine. It's a big fine. The big fine. Be that way. Well, I will. I, I fucking will be that way. They don't feel loved anymore. I'm thinking more like you didn't feel loved anymore because they were prancing around with their fancy ass. I'm reliable. No, you're not. And restless, always restless. Argumentative, bitter. Ouch. I think you're just going to move on and do some self-love, taking care of thyself. Six of Cups. Not that they, that's like having somebody in your life that you're always going to have feelings for. But when you think about the memories, you want to make better memories. Some memories are good and some memories mm, not so good. You got the Knight of Cups here kind of coming out a little bit sideways. It's like, I, I love to hate you. Single source. Ooh, I love to hate you. Judgment reversed. King of Cups reversed. Oh, boy. Okay, this person's trying to resuscitate a connection with somebody that they have been in. I think you would know this person through work or in gatherings and groups, but this is somebody that they don't want. They don't want to get started with anybody. It's going to be a missed opportunity for this person because they're toxic or they're unstable in their feelings. 
That makes it, un and this is somebody that is possibly going to be not, uh, let's see, leaving guilt trips and that kind of shit for the person that they have been with long term. I don't think I'd touch. Do we have anything else for singles, poppers only? Okay. The magician. I shall make things happen. Nine of swords. What are they afraid of? The unknown. Oh, look at how they see you. <laughs> You're so sexy. You're so sexy. Cut of the deck. You're interested. Knight of Cups. Let's see where it goes. Not making any promises, but I think that you're kind of cute. That's dating. It's keeping it simple. New love. Fantasizing about the person and the connection. They're like, oh, I'm going to make a move. But oh, I'm afraid. Do you have somebody else in your life? You're so secretive. I don't know what to think of you. They're kind of like, you got it going on. I think they're a little bit intimidated, that's all. I really do. <laughs> because it's like, you're so quiet. I can't figure you out. That's because Libras think. They're thinkers, and then they say something. They think before they don't look, before they leap. And this person's used to things just kind of going with the flow and having their way and taking action, and they're really good at it. And you back this person's ass right up. <laughs> I like it. It's like, I have no clue what to think. It's an illusion. They're just the goddess, God, Adonis, whatever. And they it's like you're that onion they want to peel open. They want the, the hey, how you doing? But you keep yourself a little bit secretive, which turns them on, of course. All right. Let's see what we have here with your majors. But this does look like you're cutting somebody out emotionally and trying to find your steady Eddie or Adette. Um, and really, yeah, taking the bull by the horns, and I mean business, damn it. So we have Aries up there. We have Cancer, Pisces. Leo. What do we have in there? Do, 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 do. Scorpio, Aquarius. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Oh, you guys are a little exciting today. Sagittarius. Is it the... Is it the... What is coming our way? Uh, retrograde. So, uh, Capricorn. Libra. You got your own card. Scorpio again. Boom. Boom. Taka laka laka. Boom. Taka laka laka. All right. Let's get two cards from the What the Foo Foo deck. What the Foo. You're blocking your goddamn blessings. Well, I think that's not you. Don't settle for crumbs. Hell no, don't settle for crumbs. One more. I'm, they're fun. Somebody has to be... Someone has a horrible attitude. Well, we definitely can point fingers that way. I point at you, point at you, point at you. All right, Libras, that's what we have for you. Now we go. Scorpios. All right, let's jump in. Source. Scorpios, overall energy, please. Two more. All right. Okay, okay. Well... This came out sideways. We're going to kind of run with it and see what happens here. This one's kind of sideways too. Do I stay or do I go? Do I stay or do I go? All right. <clears throat> Your energy is a little bit on the paranoid side. Sticking them for yourself. The wounded warrior. Not sure what to do. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? You got the two of cups and the knight of swords. Both of them were kind of iffy. Do I want this connection? Do I not? This is almost thinking like this person could be lying to you, but you can't necessarily prove it. Just saying, doesn't have to be. But that nine of wands, feel you're pushing away other people, protecting your heart, using like defense mechanisms because you're paranoid and it's like, do I give up? I feel exhausted. I've had enough of this. Still have not quite giving up. But there's this feeling of not quite being right. With one more for the two. Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's somebody that you're kind of in a pause with. But things aren't quite resolved. Or it's not like it's completely over. It's still kind of all up in the air. All right. If you were dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, Swords. Element Quickies. Seven of Swords. Mm, 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 mm. Six of Cups reverse. This person has been basically straight out lying to your damn face. This is somebody that's a, they're a goddamn user. 
All they can do is think about you, but they make bad memories. This person is, oh, I got one past Scorpio. Well, no wonder you'd feel, give me one for blockage. Seven of Cups as a blockage. Not so good. I don't really know what I want. I want Scorpio, but I don't want Scorpio. This is somebody that's like, mm, you know, I want my independence, but then I don't want my independence. I can be somebody that's so selfish that they use others financially, causing some really bad memories, but they're full of shit. I got one past you. You weren't expecting that type crap. Holding back their feelings, sneaking off, screwing around. One more for the Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. They come, they go whenever they want. And now they want to come back around and around. They, they bring the baggage with them. This feels like somebody that plays bouncy bouncy. They're in, they're out. It's not twister. We aren't playing with people's hearts. Just to start out with the fact that they're full of shit. It's like they cut. That's the man holding the big tall swords and he's holding them with his bare hand and he cuts his hand as he's sneaking away from a camp and he's got it's like that's the thief the thief of hearts let's see what your energy is towards that you want him back you want an apology can i fix this person no you cannot fix people don't try to fix this person. You wouldn't have that. No, you'd be baby and mothering and smothering this person. I can fix this. Not if they're not. You can't fix people. First of all, can't put band-aids on bullshit. It doesn't. It's going to slide off. But the night of discs when reversed is somebody that you can't rely on. They're sloppy. They're all here. They're there. They don't cover their tracks. They're full of crap. And you want an apology from them? Is that going to be something that you get closure? No, because you want to try to work this out. Crazy! Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Be crazy. Crazy. All right, this looks pretty nice. You got the ten of, ten of coin, the seven of coin, and the ace. So, very down to earth. This is the structured family. It's possibly a party or gathering with a 10 because it's possibly a large group also can be somebody that you have known or had worked with but the seven of coins is kind of this in between now what do we do can we can we start over if i give you the feeling of more security they want security what's the black edge mm. The devil is the blockage. And then we have the three of cups. All right. This person could fall off the wagon when it comes to drinking, drugs, gambling, whatever the case may be. And they're, you know, it's like, okay, I went to AA and now I'm bet no. And I'm thinking it's more finances. Like they like to go to the races and spend too much money. They financially are not responsible. It's kind of what it's feeling like. But it's like there is this, let me take you out. Let's try to have a sit down. Let's try to work things out. But if there's other people involved. That's not going to help in a connection to actually make it go back together. Your energy is the eight of swords reversed. It's like I had to let go of this. I can see clearly now. I can see clearly now. The lovers. Tough call. And the ace of wands. You might be starting over with somebody new because you might have another option. Get one more for the ace. Ah, uh, yeah, they're going to be jelly, 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 jealous. Looks like you've completely given up on this. Now, keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but there is some major jealousy, and there's this big show-off and arguments, and meh, meh, meh. It's almost like they they bailed, but, oh, I'm going to put more work into it. We're going to be family. We're going to this, we're going to that. But they got to stick with the devil reverse, where they're cutting out things that are not good for them. Because when it's upright... It's very tempting to be with that person because you want to try to make things work, but are they a player and they're in and out? Because this looks beautiful, don't get me wrong, kind of like in the middle of, does this, does this pay off? Would this pay off? Wanting it to pay off, wanting that family, could be kids involved here, doesn't have to be, but this is that I don't know. I've invested this much, do I give it a little bit longer? It's that unsureness, and the devil is toxic crap. 
I like this and I like that and possibly with more than one person doesn't have to be but definitely self-serving selfish not reliable somebody that comes in and out of your life causing arguments can be a big show off let's get one more for outcome because I'm nosy they just aren't I, you're not on the same page you're not on the same page and this is somebody that either makes you feel like you're not good enough or they're just downright cruel and unethical. I don't see you tolerating that. Three of Wands. That does mean, though, that you're waiting. What are you waiting for? Them to do it again? See the snake crawling in the eyeball? Isn't that kind of creepy? That's creepy. Three of Wands waiting for something better to come. It's not going to be with that person. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I think you already know that. Page of Swords and Death. All right. Why death? Cake or death? Cake or death? Cake or death? This person breadcrumbed you and you called it quits. They know they are done. So they're watching. Watching you heal. They're just prowling, waiting for the right moment. Because it's like, oh, I would say that with the Two of Swords reversed, you dropped them like it was hot. And they're working on healing, but they're still watching you. Why? Jealousy. Now they're the one that gets breadcrumbed and not worthy. Clarify the blockage. Seven of Wands. You gave up. And the Eight of Wands reversed. They could have been talking to people online behind your back. Doesn't have to be, but it's definitely a potential there. Barriers. Boundaries, overstepped. It's this feeling of not moving, calling it quits. It's like making, what are you, a buzzkill to this person? Well, you're you're like, I'm not fighting this myself. If you can't put, you know, work into this connection, and obviously you can't, then why should I bother? So you're blocking it. You're like, I give up, I'm done, I'm blocking your ass, I don't want to talk to you. That's what they get for breadcrumbing. And they're still watching you. Well, they're tormenting themselves because it's looking like you went, I made my choice. I have made up my mind. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Getting what you deserve. I like that. So you get the queen of coins at the bottom of the deck for your energy and two of wands. It's like, you know, I'm just planning. I'm just starting over. I'm just slowly moving in. I might have other options. So just kiss my ass, king of coin. You don't trust them. First of all, they're do-what diddies hanging out. And they shouldn't. You cover your parts, person. Pig, pig, pig. But the king of coin, when reversed, is somebody that you can't count on. They don't want the responsibilities that the normal type person should have, that means you're putting all the work into it. That's not right. Unbalanced. All right. Like they can go out with their buddies and you have to stay home with... No. No, no, no. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person feels you are ignoring them on purpose. They're trying to make off like they're happy, but they are not. They do. They feel like you don't give two shits about them. So they're they're uh, doing a little bit of drinking and wishful thinking. One more for the nine. Yeah, they're restless. So that's about all they have. I can wish and I can hope. I can wish and I can hope. I can daydream, but Scorpio's not wanting to even have anything to do with me. Scorpio doesn't feel the same way as they did. They dropped me like it was hot. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Yeah. I mean, here's your energy. It's like, okay, this was clarifying the hermit. I'm dropping you. I want nothing to do with you. I do not want to talk to you. And the emperor reversed? No. That's basically the same as that king of pentacles reversed. That's somebody that walks away. They're all indignant. Everything is about them. They don't have to be responsible. Um, just the fact that they would walk away. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This person wanted freedom. The, I want to be, you know, you, you want to be alone. I want to be alone. I'm just not going to this. And I'm not, and it like backfired on them because now you don't want to talk to them. You don't feel the same way about them. And that how you look at them with the emperor reverse bossy, demanding, too headstrong, like a tyrant and a control freak. Clarify the blockage. 
Ace of Wands. Well, did you tell him to fuck off? Ace of Wands reverses. I am not interested anymore. You do not excite me. I'm done. I have lost the spark. It's not happening anymore. We're not compatible. You're fucking no fun. They also could have sexual issues. Just saying. So, I'm, I don't have the same feelings anymore. Boy, do they feel it. Could have screwed around. Doesn't have to bend. But the Emperor reversed also can be indicative of somebody that steps out of the connection. If the Empress would be popping out again, we'd be like, yeah. But what is popping out is uh, moving forward that... Better things coming. This person doesn't want to commit. They're not working together for the same goal. Puck. And I think you're very well aware of it. And for you, it's like, I've got my closure. I'm moving on to the next chapter. Licking my wounds for as long as I want. And they feel they feel like shit, granted. But they're trying to, to make off like they don't. But they're actually wishing, dreaming that you would possibly come back and I think they're doing a little bit of thinking drinking here but they know you're ignoring them on purpose or they at least that's what they're telling themselves so that makes you what a bitch no single source single single singles ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I want to talk to you all right they want you to open up this person wants to get to know you they see you as extremely sexual, extremely beautiful, the one who can nurture the connection. They would like to see this go somewhere. Mm -hmm. They see you as kind and generous and uh, very inquisitive on more about you. It's like, I think I just explained this to Libras. It's like the, the high priestess is very good looking but mysterious. And it's like that makes you like an onion. They want to peel off the veil and find out what is with you because you're just like, wow, ooh, Mufasa, do it again. They want to figure you out. Are you single? Can you see yourself with me? How do you see this person? Page of Cups, you're interested, see where it can go. I ain't so bad at all. And then you got the King, the King and the King of Cups. So from the Page of Cups, to the king of cups now that also can be that this person has a child or children but this is like crushy crushy into could this actually go somewhere because this would be somebody that is emotionally available they like that i mean that looks damn good I can't meet them at work but this person is very much like oh i meet you and all i can think about is you you make my fur purr all right let's see what we have for our trumps Get that out of the way. All right. Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. I feel bad for Capricorns. They get such a bad rap. The tower end? That, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Bad memories. All right, let's get two from the naughty deck. I have a couple naughty decks. I like my naughty decks. What the fuck is the problem is the name of this one. Oh, we got three. We'll take it. Stop overanalyzing shit. Stop ignoring the signs. Pay attention, people. You must be addicted to pain. I think that's for the ones that of you that want somebody back but know that it's a goddamn hot mess. Just saying. All right, Scorpios, this is what we have for you. On we go. Sagittarius. Source their overall energy first. All right. Wish denied. Not happy. This is somebody that you feel like uh, possibly you're feeling manipulated. And you're pissed off. And you wish things would start going your way. And you don't feel like it's ever going to change. And things feel like they're all up in the air yet to you. There's a little bit of confusion, and it does seem like you do have your eye on somebody, but you are just ready to lash out. Let somebody have it. You're making assumptions. This is this is your energy. Pissed off. What do we have for Aries, Leo, or Sag? Tower reversed. The Empress. This person's not over you. Why the tower? 
Nine of Wands. Hmm. Why the Nine of Wands? Shit sticks. Okay, well, they caused this disaster themselves. They were afraid that you were going to find out about somebody else and they're supposed to be with you? Really? I don't want you to know. They're paranoid that you're going to find out. What the f... Clarify the blockage. Just in case I'm wrong. No. They hurt you. There's no faith. There's no relying on this person. Page of Cups. Yeah. Cups page. Page of Cups reversed. They're all, I don't know what I want. They've broken your heart. One more for the star. It's like broken promises, broken dreams. They wanted their freedom. It's like, I'm good. I don't need to have anybody in my life. I do just fine by myself. Well, that's not the way you have a connection. I'm attracted to you, but I'm not in any hurry to settle down. But when I'm with you, I will treat you well. They caught feelings when they did not want to. How do you see them? Let's get a cut. Ooh, they're getting theirs. They're getting theirs. It's like the sword of truth is up, jackass. You know the truth. They know that it's like, oh, you are getting some lickings here. Justice upright is uh, possibly looking for a resolution, but this is also seeing somebody get retribution for their actions, taking accountability because of what they've done and gone through, breaking up the happy home. That's that's them being a fucking homewrecker. Bad, bad person. Naughty. And why do they do it? Because they don't know what they want. And they don't want to have to choose. Two of swords. I don't know what I want. Didn't see this coming. I didn't figure I was going to get busted. But, oh, but you did. You got busted. Boomba. Saggies are too smart for your ass. And this also could be that this person is just too fucking picky. That you can't trust them. Arguments and disagreements and not being on the same page and betrayal and rejected. And what the hell is all that? That's not compatibility. And certainly not being honest. All right. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Death, cake or death, cake or death. Clarified, okay. Well, the page of swords reverse can be somebody that uh, is putting you in a third party situation, but they definitely have lied to you. It's like right to the core of your being, this person looked you right in the face and lied. And it's like, are you, you're seriously lying right to my face? I mean, that is heartbreak, again, with the rejection, feeling abandoned. Could have been a third party, doesn't have to have been. Four of Swords, this is basically you going, you're fucking lying to me, so I don't even want to deal with you. I need space. Please leave. Lovers reversed. Bad choices. Bad, bad, bad choices. It's all about starting over and seeing shiny, fun things. You give up. That's the blockage. It's like, I've tried to get on the same page with you. I give up. It's like they won't work with you. Well, then they're working against you. The three of coins. We could get on the same page. I've tried and tried and tried. I was working at it alone. You didn't put any work into it. Why would you think this is going to go somewhere? Not going anywhere. Seven of Wands upright would be stubborn, possibly jealousy, but putting up your boundaries and it's like, these, this is the rules, babe. Mm -mm. Now it's like, you make me feel too insecure. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I'm not going to be vulnerable to you anymore. I'm done trying. And they're just on to the next one. Give me one more for the Ace of... Yeah, they're busted, so they're out. I'll just find somebody else to stick my stick in. My Twinkie Ding Dong issue. Busted. The truth came out. You saw them for who they truly were. That's a damn shitty story. I'm so sorry. Ugh. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
Okay. Well, these came all together. And these came all together. I'm going to take them together. All right. So this person, they think of you as the right one. But their actions speak louder than that. It's like, here, I have this cup. Well, you're cold and shitty. And they're afraid to open up. So that's going to be really difficult to try and get anywhere. Four of Cups. They're going to miss an offer. They're going to miss the fact that you're even interested. What's their problem? Okay, one more. Damage. They need to heal from something else, somebody else that basically showed that they weren't reliable and they really took it bad. This is somebody that they're blaming somebody else for not being able to take you seriously and open up and they're going to end up just completely missing the fact that, you know, that there's something good to hold on to here and they're, they see you in a beautiful light, but they're afraid to open up because of the past and still trying to work on healing. This person doesn't feel like somebody that they had dealt with in the past. It wasn't going anywhere. It was going backwards. They never could rely on the person. The person could be financially using them. How do you see them? Okay. Well, that's pretty decent. I'll take that. You feel like they have a lot to offer and that they're dropping the toxicity from the past. So changing their ways, getting rid of things that don't serve them, and they have the King of Cups. Now, I mean, that's emotionally mature, but you're waiting for it. And the King of Cups doesn't just spew out fucking unicorns and Skittles. I mean, they're, they're very reserved and smart about when they offer their cup to somebody. That is a family type person, but it takes a lot for them to get there. It's like, I have feelings, but I kind of hesitate to show them, waiting for the right time. They kind of calculate the risks versus the rewards. They're very careful not to get swept away, but they got a little bit of trust issue. So if you care about this person, hang in there. They're working on it. They're trying. It does look like things can get better. So if you still feel like things are all up in the air and you feel like things aren't going your way, are you feeling more sorry for yourself than you need to? And are you getting pissy about it? Because that's going to scare this person right off. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why the queen of coins reversed? Ooh. Well, that's not very nice. Mm -mm. This person's thinking, why the hell should I bother? I I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. It's like they're misleading. There's no clarity. They're deceptive. This person could have already been in a connection. But I can give a little bit to you, and I can give a little bit to you. I got plenty to go around. One more for the three of cups. See, I'm feeling like there's, oh, lots of passion. And, yeah, I'd love to show you a good time. Blockage. This is somebody that uh, needs their ego stroked. They're in a different connection, and they are not telling you the truth. You find out. They need to make a choice. Do you really want to wait? Because if you if you get into, into uh, even just talking, even just talking with somebody that is in another connection, who looks like the home wrecker then? That sucks. So opening up communication looks like you closed it down. Depressed about it, but using your best judgment, you're changing your mind. Five of coins. It's almost like you know that they're going to go back where they came from. Let them go. Here's the drama. Who the hell wants it? Oh, and some shitty words. It's almost like somebody coming at you going, you should have known that that person was taken. It's like, don't take your earrings out yet, bitch. Don't take your earrings out and get at me. The defensiveness, and this is a master manipulator. They're a candy ass. They hide behind their good looks and 
I just, you know, like to go out and have fun. Well, life isn't all about fun. So there's a breadcrumber who's stepping out on their queen of coin, male or female, does not matter. And you're going, oh no, no, no. I thought this was actually going to be something. You were a disappointment. I see clearly that you are not worth it. Pissed. Did not go your way. But it does feel like there was, it was really fast paced and really sexual and texting and, you know, fast action. And you put the kibosh on it real quick. Once you found out that they were supposed to be with somebody else. That's like it backfired. Didn't go the way you wanted to. It's like this person, no, not worth anything. There's no security. There's no foundation. Why bother? It's a bad boy or girl, bad investment. And if you, you feel shunned, well, it's not your fault if you didn't know. Singles. All right. Caution. Caution. No, thank you. This person is anti-behave, anti-give a shit. They're going to keep you hanging. You're going to see it for what it is. You're like, you're not really, you'd just be a piece of ass, dude. See, you already know. It's like you're a fucking heartbreaker. So uh, why don't we just skip the, the heartbreaking part? Because you're not worth two bits. You're not even going to let it get to you. It's a disappointment, but you kind of figured it out faster than this person could shake a stick at you. You're like, oh no, I know this game. Not falling for it. Mm -mm. So this person could be in a time out from somebody else. Again, with the whole home wrecking bullshit. But there's secrets that have come out and this person's sitting there all pouty. Well, why can't I have my way with you? Because I'm not a fucking home wrecker. Why don't you go home? Because I don't want to. I'm a hoe. Well, I'm not interested. Hoe? Sorry, guys. That was some really... Bummers. All right, let's go through the majors and then we'll see what the cards have. We have brought another fun deck out. I mean, look at the all the reversals and you got slammed on singles. That sucks. All right. So with the moon, we have Pisces, Cancer, we have Leo. King of Wands, my ass. Capricorn, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius very heavily. And the Empress, Libra and Taurus. All right. Three from my What the Foo deck. What the Foo is the problem with you? All right. Hangry. I see. Eat, bitch. Work on your jealousy. I, you know, I don't think you need to work on your jealousy. I think you need to work on your reading people. Your angels are constantly shaking their heads. <laughs> Eh, stop sabotaging your manifestations. All right. I don't know if that resonates or not, but that's what we got for you, Saggies. On we go. My happy Capulets. First, we're going to get your overall energy. That feel, feels much better. All right. Capricorn, Source, my Capulets. What is their overall energy? Page of Cups. Got something new coming your way? Mm -hmm. it looks like uh, you might be holding back a little bit you want somebody to take you seriously now this can be getting a message or an apology and you're holding back because it's damn well time that they you know actually do that but the queen of swords is very cautious she will hear you out she or he and if things aren't just so off with your head strength i feel there's like a tension between you and this person there's, there is a bond there, but there's so much tension right now that it's like, I just, I'm, I'm trying to control my emotions and, to, and waiting. You're trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but you're being very cautious. All right. If you are dealing with an Aries, a Leo or a Sag. 
Well, isn't that special? This person feels like you blocked them. They, they, there was some confusion here. They possibly got busted. The King of Cups. Ugh. In this case, it's like I think about the risks and the rewards, but I'm careful not to get too swept up in my emotions. But I've made up my mind. What, what, what the hell was this then? Are you, I mean, are they fucking picky or something? No, you're not good enough. Well, eh, disagreements, arguments, not feeling like you're on the same page, possibly being cut off could have been betrayal, uh, rejection, possibly just not mentally compatible. One more for that case. But here they come back around. Here they come, walking down the street. Blockage. Oh, they thought they had greener grass on the other side of the fence. They wanted some freedom instead of being in charge of other people's emotions and feelings. Here's you going, I did not see this shit coming. I did not. I don't like it. I don't feel good about this. And boom, you feel like you're at the lowest point that you have been in a very long time and, and shit's got to change. Doesn't always mean that it's going to change for the, the best. This could have been uh, like the universe just giving you a wake-up call and telling you that this is not good for you because temperance reverse can be somebody that is uh, overindulging in alcohol, drugs, anything that, it, you know, and it could have been their lies that got them booted out and now they think they're coming back around. This seems like something that's been on and off and on and off and I've made up my mind I'm not going to drink anymore like that. Cups, cups, cups. Grass, greener, maybe not so much that, but the baggage, baggage that they have, they're, they're so distracted by being immature that they self-sabotage. And then they have an attitude. This person could make mountains out of molehills where they make everything about them and then you're closed down about it. Because if this is your energy, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see it. I already, I've seen it before. Well, that's also emotions and just letting it all out of the bag. You already are aware of what's going on. It's like, I can see clearly now. It does look like they might come in and apologize. You're disappointed. I feel like this person's just... I don't want to call out. I mean, I'm not a goddamn psychologist. But this would be somebody that's like bipolar. They act like everything's fine and then they make a mountain out of a molehill and then they're happy and everything's good and then they turn into a cruel asshole and I don't want to be responsible for your emotions but I still have feelings for you and it's going and going and going, 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 going. Like the cycle just doesn't stop. It's like, well, I want off. <laughs> I, want, I want off the roller coaster. So I would say that you aren't done hearing from them and you're disappointed. Well, no shit, you're disappointed. But it does look like you'd go through it again because you're thinking about one thing, one coin, one person, very dedicated, but you cannot fix this person. So if they overindulge and they have a drinking problem, it's going to continue. If they're a screw around with everything that has a hole or a phallic membrane, they're going to continue to hurt you. And that's gonna, you gotta be more independent. I mean, oh, you're really getting called out. I'm sorry. This is really. But they, it's gonna happen again. It is going to happen again. Whatever they've put you through, it just keeps going around and around. Yuck. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, we like this a little better. Now come here. All right. So this was out second. So. Let's see here. Let's get a cut for you. All right. There's some stability. This person might be like, okay, you have a hell of a lot to offer. This seems more like a long-term connection. This person wants to possibly clear things up with you, wants things to be more positive. Can we continue? This is looking like you, you'd be very serious, very blunt, but you're not getting off your damn throne. Okay. 
It's like you have ambition, you can be more focused, you can be more loyal, practical, you can be what, what you're supposed to be. Prove it. But this does look like you're going to give them the opportunity to do so. What's the blockage? What was the blockage? Oof. Well, now that's the emperor and the empress there. So this person either stepped out of the connection, doesn't have to be, but when the empress is reversed, it's somebody that feels unfulfilled, can act codependent, the, uh, smothering, jealousy issues. It could have been just that simple. Let's get one more for her. One more. Okay, and then you telling them to fuck off. Picky. This can be like the person that doesn't put out for like three months and you're going, what is really going on? Are you stepping out on me with that? What is going on? It's like, why all of a sudden are you not interested in anything? Lost the spark? You're no fun anymore? Can't get it up? But it's making you feel inept. So what's really going on with this person? I, we're not getting told. We are not getting told. Something you have not seen yet. But there is a... It's brewing. Let's just put it that way. But you have to wait. I don't know why in the hell you have to wait. But I mean, come on. We're getting told left and right here. No. Stick stick to your... Just be. have some grit. Stick to what you know to be true. Because there's something that you don't know about this person. And it's either infidelity... Or they've got an issue and they don't feel like they're good enough or and that's making you feel the same way. But this person wants to put more effort into it. But there's something that they are not telling you. Now, if this is a newer connection, it doesn't feel like it. But if it is a newer connection, they're trying to hide flaws. And it's going to come to a roaring stop with an argument. And you're going to be like, ho, ho, ho. Whoa, I did not see that you had... That kind of mean streak in you. Just saying. No fun. Tasers and spitballs. All right. Oh, I don't like this shit either. See, you're really, it's being hidden yet from, from me. I can't even see it. But it, it's definitely that I don't feel good enough about myself anymore. There's something that you are missing with, with this person. You're... You're, you're bottom of the deck. You got the, 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 the devil right underneath of that. I mean, we, we don't make this up. I'm not interested in toxic, not interested in toxic shit. So just be careful. Yeesh. Tower's peeking out here too. Okay. So let's go on to Cancer Scorpio Pisces after a nice shuffle here. Shake that energy off. Yuck. All right. Everything, cats out of the bag. Now they're waiting. And waiting. And waiting. Oh, and waiting and waiting. Mm. How you see them. And then one's reversed. They want to be single and you think they're a fucking player. I mean, there's no easier way to say it. That you could have had arguments with this person, but you're like, you, you're... You don't even want to to be taken. You, you're bouncing around like... You're going to run over them with your chariot, which is at the bottom of the deck. And you're going to block their ass. So it's like, what's the problem? The communication sucks. What's at the bottom of the deck? You're going to call it done. Chariot, I will run you over. This is not worth investing. Big fest. I'm done with this. God, you guys are just getting slammed. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't like that. But they're waiting. It's like, okay, I've given you a cast out of the bag, told you everything. Um, I'm not committing right now. I'm not promising anything. You know, wait, 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 wait. And you're going, player, you never planned to stick around. Unreliable, ho, ho, ho. And this can be, make you feel or they feel about you that you're codependent and trying to land them and they don't want to be held down. The communication sucks. And they could have been 
talking to more than just you. Pissed. Good reason. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Wait till hell freezes over, buddy. All right. Oof, we need some good juju here. Good juju. Forest Virgo Capricorn. All right, well, we like that. And we like that. Okay. Why do we have the seven of, seven of wands? This person's a little bit concerned that you might be defensive. Like you're used to having to fight alone and that you are on the defensive side. They're afraid of what might happen. This is somebody that wants to try to heal a connection. They want to move forward with you. What is a blockage? There is love there. There's something they have to change so that this can actually go somewhere. What, what do they need to change? They need to change the chariot. So now we're asking for blockage, so we're taking that reversed. This can be somebody that comes and goes, that they can be at a distance from you. They might need to change their address. They could have insecurities, constantly looking for validation. They can be very reckless and don't have any focus or torn in two different directions. I'm feeling more like a need to physically move and that's why you're being guarded and they're afraid that you might drop them type of situation this is very specific it's like i don't want things to be done we're just getting you know getting uh, off of our feet here i feel really good about this and you're not going to get too involved with me because of the distance between the two of you that's what that's feeling like so the talks will be on, serious talks, to try to get on the same page. I don't feel like this is terrible because it does look, I mean, you're interested in this person. It started small and it got bigger and now it's like, hey, I'm getting to the point where I'm really getting, I'm, I didn't expect to have this much feeling and Boomba needs to change. Something's got it, you know, I, I want somebody serious. Now, I will say you could have had a, a, a hookup toy, too, that you started having feelings for. And there's, they're going, yeah, what do we do about this now? But trying to get on the same page. And we're talking head to head. It's like tit for tat. Two people that would be very good at communicating. And it would not involve emotions. It would be logic, period. I mean, that would be one hell of a discussion. But they still have hope that this can be. They want a good change. All right. What do we have for Sissus? The singles. Singles. This person's restless. Wants to get the hell out of the house. It's making a big change in their life. They're choosing to be more structured. And they have their eyeball on you. That's a big fat goal for it if you are single. But they are restless. All right. You're up for this. You're like, bring it to mama. Mm-hmm. Wanting some of that. And then you got this. This did a flip. We'll take it. That looks nice. So, okay. You might be the one that goes up to this person, buys them a drinky treat, and goes, you're cute. You know, because this person's kind of like getting restless. I'm making a choice. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. Emperor, I mean business. And all of a sudden, they go, ooh, hello. I mean, that's somebody that... Is, is single that sees you and goes yes pursuing but at their pace and you're going pace my ass i'm coming in i shall have you i shall have you come here you <laughs> got a little chase going on there but it's something that moves forward it's good news this is this is nice we like that chase them down lock them up chain them to your bed Keep that one. All right, let's call out all the majors for you guys, and then we're going to get out the what the foo foo is the problem deck. So we have quite interesting energy. Leo. Pisces. Libra, Taurus. Leo. Aries. Cancer, 
Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Aries again. All right. So let's see if you get called out by Source too. Holy man. Here we go. Ready, ready? Be more responsible. Mm hmm? To somebody else, maybe not? Oh, you are not a doormat. Don't act like one. You're surrounded by energy vampires. Let's get one more. They're fun. Believe in yourself. Damn it. All right, my Capulets. That's what we have for you. On we go. Aquarius. Source. Their overall energy. Okay. Three flew out. So it seems like you are kind of going back and forth about somebody that you might just friend zone. You're not sure. You could be like, mm, you know, I think that you got kind of a roaming eye and I don't know if I trust you. So you're staying very focused. You're keeping yourself like you're back against the wall, making sure that you, you know, know if this person's going to be loyal or not. But there's no affection here at all. You're going straight up logic. This can be a connection that's been back and forth. They can be the type of person, especially with this energy here for you, that juggles you. Like they don't always have time for you and you're going, well, screw this, then we're just going to stay friends. It's like, I want more than you have to offer. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag. If you are dealing with fire sign, source, elemental quickies. And the fight's on. Oh, great. I'm going to make this happen. I shall drop my toxic ways. They want to turn over a new leaf. Are you buying it? So they're like, I'm coming in and fighting for you. I'm going to make this happen. I can make anything happen. Well, yeah, you can. I'm dropping my toxic bullshit. I'm starting over. What is the blockage? Because they're trying to convince you. The blockage is they need to put more work into it. And they need to be more... Because this... The, look at that. They miss you. They want to come back around. I'm going to grab these for you. Okay. I regret what I've done. I should have taken you seriously. I should have paid more attention to you. I should have been more dedicated. This is the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And now they want to make it happen. They are going to be a little bit intimidating. I will say that because it's like, I will fight for you. You're not so sure. You're like, mm, maybe. Mm, fucking maybe. Maybe not. So you're going to have to decide if you're going to want to. It does look like you'd be like, yes. So, communication's open. That would be a good thing. Okay, that's some makeup sex there. Have fun. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm fucking serious. No, you're not. All right, this person's taking it hard. Why the two of wands reverse? We need a little clarification, please. Oh, hell no. Oh, no, no. Hell no, hell no. Why are they taking this so hard if they got busted? The two of Wands reverse. I have a roaming eye and I'm, I'm here, there, and everywhere. And I'm going to change. Because you're just going to cut me out. Otherwise, I better get my shit together. What is the actual blockage? They're torn in two. They have no focus. They don't put any work into it. This is like you said, this is a waste of my time. Screw this shit. And they're going, wait, wait, wait. Secrets and bullshit. The high priestess reversed is somebody that avoids confrontation, has a hidden agenda, only gives you surface knowledge, and you're going, waste of my time. Waste of my time. And now they're going, wait, wait, wait. I know what I did. I, I know I made you feel this way. I'll work harder. One more for the 10. I do think that they, they actually plan on doing it. Are you willing to try again? You, I mean, it's everything's apparent. You're not blindfolded anymore. You can see clearly if this person's trustworthy or not. <laughs> but you will be defensive. It's like you have to prove it, prove it, prove it. Seven of Wands. I will not tolerate any bullshit anymore. The Emperor is not tolerant. But it does look like somebody that makes you happy. So somebody needs a damn spanking. Spank them. Get a big stick out. I used to, my my mother used to have a, a 
big stick she called Elan. I'm like, very nice. I'm like, who gets the first beating? My brother always got the first beatings, and then he'd say that I didn't get the belt good enough because I wouldn't make any noise. You're not even hitting her? No, yeah, yeah. no, I was too stubborn to cry. <laughs> All right. If you are dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, this person wants your attention. They're actually optimistic. They want an opportunity with you. Ooh. Now, if this is somebody that you have been with before, they're, it's like they're changing their whole M.O. I'm coming clean. I'm making an honest effort. I, I know that you didn't have faith in me before, but I'm showing you that you still can. And you're going to be a little more cautious. You got the King of Cups. You're being emotionally mature and kind of weighing the pros and cons about this. So it's like, you, again, with the fucking prove it. What's the blockage? What is the blockage? All right. Okay. This is somebody that is possibly not over something from their past and still watching an ex, we'll say, because it's something that they're not over. It also can be that they're pointing the finger at you. But this is feeling more like they're being secretive because they're not quite over somebody else, but they want your attention and they're optimistic. And, you know, well, are you still watching your ex? Yeah, you know, our thoughts, Ace of Cups, you still have feelings and you want to bone them. So it does look like, oh, uh, yeah, okay, um, we can make this work. But do you really want to have to share their attention with somebody from the past? This seems very fresh, very new. This person can also be going through a divorce. And they definitely are like, get on my horse. We're going this way. That's back there. This is this way. But there's that feeling of, you know, you catch them on their phone. Um, that's the spy. That's the spy that's like digging for truth and gets all nervous. Or, and they get like defensive. And you're like, what, what are you doing that... you? You know, confusing you. And you're going, stop going back and forth or I will fucking friend zone your ass. But it doesn't look like they mean anything by it. Yeah, I mean, wish granted. So if, if that's something that you feel like it's kind of going back and forth and they're still kind of stuck on their ex, it's because of a separation and they're, they're just getting used to a new person. They do have good intentions, I really do feel. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The mega bitch. Okay. Ooh, this person thinks that you are going to give it to them in spades. Ooh. They're going to act like a big shit. <laughs> They're going to try and be like, oh, come on. This is not a big deal. Don't be such a biatch. The blockage is something from the past. That there again. So I think about my ex, you know, and I missed an opportunity with that person, but I'm not really quite over them. It's like it's done, but it's not 100% done. Truth came out. You can see clearly. They know you're pissed. They're coming in like they're, you know, king shit, and they're going to treat you better. Really? That, or they're going to piss you off because they go back to their ex. One more for the Empress. Is it our Aquarius reversed? Yes, it is not. So that's going back to Mama. Well, that's, yeah, I'd say pissing you off. That means you start over. Get rid of this asshole. Go away, spineless person. You want somebody that's more, rel more reliable. Don't try to pound sunshine up my ass. There's something better for you. This person's going back and forth. They were uh, in a disconnection, but not a divorce. Or it's just a temporary separation, and they just weren't sure. So that's called back burner, babe. Well, yeah, no wonder you're pissed at them. And, yeah, I have to be more apparent with you. I still have feelings for my ex, and I want to go back there. I'll pack your bags. Saya Nara. 
people should not get involved with anybody else for like six months minimum. All right, singles. Hangman. I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. Ooh. Okay, groups and groups of people, gatherings, parties. Go. This person wants to come in and show you a good time. Bottom of the deck. Yes, you do feel like you have things in common with this person. This is nice. Going out for drinky treats. I do feel like there can be alcohol involved. you got cups coming out of your butt. This person's been waiting. They want to get to know you. Now, this can be that they're ready to offer something long term. Or just that they, they definitely are like, wow, I'm impressed. You could be the one. This looks really nice. I mean, here they come. Romeo. Don Juan is going to put you on the back of their horse and take off with you. They want your attention. And they want to show you a good time. It's a good start and a base of dating. But they're like, I, you can't believe how long I've been waiting for a... You know, you date a few boneheads and you go, wrong, no, wrong, next, wrong, next. And they went, ooh, you Aquarius. Oh, yes. Yes, you have brains. You are sexy and you're not retiring. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that sentence. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, <laughs> Libra. It was not a nice thing to say. Cancer. <laughs> now you're going to all back up be like, what did we miss? What was she going to say? Cancer. Pisces. Capricorn. <laughs> oh, I think I need some sleep. Staying up late. Aries. Pisces. Scorpio. You guys were not boring. Aries. Libra. Taurus. Pisces. Cancer. All right. We're getting three from the What the Food deck. What the fuck? All right. We're taking three. Oh, now you got four. You fell for their lies again. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You don't like where you're at? Then get your ass moving. Oh, you are getting called out. Not everyone needs to know your business. So give some people that. You fucked it up and you know it. Ooh, you could save this. Take a picture. There, no glare. Snap, and then you can send it to somebody that's pissing you off. That would be nice. You fucked it up, and you know it. I'm not pointing any fingers, though. All right, Aquarius, that's what we have for you. Now we go. Pisces, how you bees? All right, let's get your overall energy first. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Should I show you? Nah. Should, should I? Yeah, should I flip? Nah, I'm teasing. All right. He, you guys are, though, teasing. Let me tell you. You're, okay, you're daydreaming about somebody that you, you definitely have an interest in. They're like hot to trot. And you're going, whoo, it's getting hot in here. But you're not sharing this with anybody. It's like you're kind of keeping it to yourself that you're interested in this person for some reason. We'll find out why. We'll find out. And it's like daydreamy. Not sure if this person's available. You know, it's possibly somebody you got your eye on and haven't really gotten, you know, trying to get information, but in a roundabout way because you, you're trying to be secretive about it. It's kind of cute. It's like, ooh, I could have a crush on you if you're available, but I don't want to make an ass of myself type energy. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll wait. It's like, I'm waiting. This is the pinup girl deck. They're really pretty. They have most of their clothes on. How about that for once? All right. If you were dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. The star. Ooh. Judgment. Ooh. 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 Queen of Pentacles. How about that? Okay. One more. They want to pull in sunshine up your ass. I mean, this... Uh, Hello, nice. Now, this is somebody from your past because we were doing singles last. All right. You would be clueless if they're um, going to come your direction again. Still wondering if you could trust them. Kind of iffy about that. They could have been uh, 
flirting with other people. We'll just keep it simple. This is having hope and faith. This is making a judgment call, but it can be like day of reckoning. This person is actually going to pound sunshine up your rump. They want to be happy and they're going to be responsible, reliable, and give you all the things that you had wanted and you didn't get before. Boom. Big change. It's underneath of that. <laughs> Look at how it makes you feel. Hello, lover. Makes you feel freaking awesome. That's the best. Ugh. Something to nurture. But she's also very psychic. So is the hypostas. What was the blockage here? All right. They pissed you off royally. Something had to be let go. They got themselves in trouble. Six of cups. So they gave you a little bit of a fucking headache. They were manipulating a situation. But there's still feelings here. So they were trying to get one past you. They pissed you off royally. <laughs> Eight of swords, when it's reversed, it's like they're trying to rationalize their, their ass out of trouble. It's like, oh boy, you now know. Trying to get, it's like, how do I get my ass out of this problem? It's not my fault. Kind of like that. Well, gave you some uh, bad fucking memories. Because we're reversing this when we say, what's the blockage? Well, they manipulated a situation. Boy, they're regretting it. Their action? Okay. Bend over. Ace of Wands. It's makeup sex. Seriously. Back together. Lovey dovey. Do you trust them though? Be cautious. I mean, what they're saying is like stellar. I have hope. I have faith. I this is I'm I'm going to flip over a new leaf. I'm going to behave myself. Everything's going to be great. I'm going to give you to reach the expectations that you've put forth, and everybody's going to be fucking happy as hell. But they hadn't been that way all the time. So maybe they're, you know, turning over a new leaf and are going to behave. But you care about them. So you're willing to be like, okay, maybe you've grown up a little bit since the last time we've gone this route. But you're up for it. Now, th there could have been quite a time period that you hadn't because, boy, boom, all of a sudden you were hearing from this person again. So this can be somebody that was in your past, from your past, somebody that you still daydream about and boom, in they come like, Hey, I haven't talked to you in a while. Or I moved back to the city and whatever the case may. Yeah. I mean, there could have been a distance here. You got the three of wands and pff, was worth the wait. Almost like we were never single at the same time. You were always with somebody or I was with somebody, something like that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of swords reversed. Four of swords reversed. And the emperor reversed. Well, hello, asshole. Oy, hey, you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to deal with them. You're like, you know what? Emotional poverty kiss my ass. Stay where you're at. Coach, surf elsewhere. Mm -mm. What's hiding there? Queen of Cups. It's like, uh, <laughs> no, no. I know you're messing around. Look at this. Roaming eye. Two of wands reversed. You piece of shit. Two swords, you fucked up royally. Choice made. You made your bed, you lie in it. Got you restless as, you know, restless as hell. This also can be that this person is thinking about coming back around, but oh boy, I don't think they're welcome. They're not going to like it at all. This is, they know that they're going to be facing one of these. What's the blockage? Clarify. I already know, but. Not good. The cute little ass now gets flipped this way and it's like, kiss it. Three of Wands, you made me wait and wait and wait. I'm sick of it. You were stringing me along. All these delays. This is somebody that lied to you. Told you that they were more available than they actually were. I hope they can't get it up. Just saying. Impotence. Or difficult orgasm. Whatever. Male or female, I don't give a shit. But this is like ouchity, ouchity, ouch, major ouch. Energy up there, be cautious. How do you see them? One more for that five. We're going to take that five out so we have something to base. All right, source. Clarify the five. 
Yeah, that, no. This is not somebody that wants to have a commitment. They they could have already been taken and they um, got in a separation, whatever, and it's like they cannot be confined. They're a commitment full. They, they want their freedom. It's just not somebody that supports a connection. So look at you going, abandonment? You're going to abandon me? Kiss it! I don't think they have a chance. So if you're thinking, is that person ever going to attempt? Well, they will. They will. You're going to give it back to them? Oh, yeah. Am I kicking my camera here? I feel like the camera's going boing, 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 boing. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, seven of coins. Knight of Cups. Hmm. This person, you got this person all Twitter pated and they're so freaking nervous. Are you trying to intimidate somebody? <laughs> One more for the Nine of Swords. They're afraid of you. They they so badly want you that they're going to be the like the nerdy type person that screws up and like stumbles all over themselves. They're afraid of not making a good impression. They want an opportunity with you, but they're like waiting for the right time to ask you out. How do you see this person? This feels very singles. All right. You're not sure that uh, you're ready for this. Yeah, you're not so ready. You're going to hold back. It's like there's some sexual tension here, but you're just not sure. You got the chariot. It's like, um, maybe. Now, there actually could be uh, itchy eyeball. Sorry. There could be a physical distance between you and this person. You're thinking that they're just looking for a piece of ass, and therefore you're kind of like, uh-uh. But you're, you know, making yourself paranoid over nothing. So there's a little bit of things being up in the air yet about this person, but this does feel like somebody new. Now, it can be a return, especially with the, the world reversed here, but there's definitely some sexual tension. This could have been something that never kind of got really off the ground. Again, with the feeling of somebody from the past coming back in. And they're kind of like, would you? Could you? Should I? Waiting for the right time. Waiting for the right time. Waiting. I'm so nervous. Uh, it does look like there's sexual tension here. But it's like you never had the right opportunity or the right time again. Things just weren't. There wasn't any... There wasn't any reason to get closure. It just never really happened. It feels very similar to uh, the other one there. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The fool. You slink down that damn pole. Three of pentacles. I'm trying to get on the same page with you and you will not open up. Ooh. They, uh, <laughs> they think you would just don't want to have anything to do with them. It's like, could we try? No. This can be somebody that you work with that you're going, oh, no, hell no. Not happening. I'm not getting involved with somebody at work. What's the problem? Oh, no. You don't feel like, you're like, I'm not going there. I'm, I'm not going there. I've made up my mind. Yeah, you're going, don't even bring it up. Don't even bring it up. Because I, no, I don't want to hear about it. Ten of Wands reversed. It's like, I don't have any time for your shit. Seven of Wands reversed. It's like, I don't, don't even argue with me. No. It's going to make them feel like a loser and, you know, insecure. But you're not letting your guard down for this person. <laughs> this seems like a workplace type crush that shouldn't be because it's inappropriate and you're gonna let them know just where they where they stand but they're still gonna have a little crushy on you and so it's gonna make you feel weird at work that kind of situation hey they're not gonna stop though they're gonna keep trying look at that page of cups i have such a crush on you i think you're the bomb can't you just give me a little no no singles Single source. The Wheel of Fortune. Big change. Big change. 
Page up. Somebody's already watching you. Mm. Nine of Wands. They're a little bit paranoid. Why? They're not sure you're going to be interested. This is somebody that uh, really wants to come at you. How do you see them? You see them just getting over other things, and you do feel like they're emotionally available. But you're not sure if this is going to be worth the effort. It seems like you both kind of get your eyeball on each other and not really. It's like you need to talk because they're not sure. You're not sure. Well, that's how that's how dating goes. So they're just starting to warm up to the idea. That's how you see them. I just see you finally thinking that other people exist in the world, but you're kind of weighing out the pros and cons. Is it really worth it? Ace of Pentacles. It's like, well, if you don't get off your dead ass, this is going nowhere. It's like you're waiting for them to actually come at you and you'll wait till hell freezes over it's like this person's going oh, you make me so nervous well if you're shaking that much then maybe you don't have big enough balls um, i mean but you get the nine of cups this is something that would definitely float your boat it's like wish i wish i may i wish i might waiting 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 if that was reversed it would be such a wow out of the blue couldn't believe this happened type thing. But both of you are not are not making any effort here. <laughs> yeah. And then you got the... Oh, God. I want your attention in the worst way. I fancy you. I want to screw your brains out. We could end up going somewhere, you and I. We really could. Please. <laughs> I'll be a good boy. I mean, this looks really nice. Noah says it's time for lovies. <laughs> I want. They can't stop thinking about you, but they got to make a move. Candy ass. We'll see. And you're like, do it already. Seriously. Oh, <laughs> he's using my bathroom. So your overall energy is <laughs> quite seductive, quite dreamboaty. And not letting, and it's like, I'm not sharing this shit with any of my friends. I'm not telling them nothing. All right, let's see what we have here for majors. Pisces, Cancer. Cancer. She's a sexy one. Mm. Aries, Leo. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Taurus, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, Aquarius, you're so lovely. All right, my cupcakes, we are getting out the what the fuck is the problem deck, and we're getting three. Here we go. All right. Fucking apologize. I think if anybody it's gonna be the the singles because it's like you're both going back and it's like yeah, shit are gonna have the pot you wished for it remember oh yes always be careful what you wish you seriously need therapy <laughs> you guys are keeping secrets from other people even like your friends you need more healing oh don't rub it in source all right my cupcakes that's what we have for you thanks for watching many blessings we'll see you next time